Wow! Hello! 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 Amy released her vlog today. She did an old school April week one vlog. We're talking about my co-host Amy from Amy Noel Reads. And she said, hello! But it was like so different, but I loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If people don't know, I like to say Willow like Willow. Welcome to my <laughs> channel. I am Kelsey. This is Andrew. Hello, hello. Hello. It keeps from, from the page. Yeah, that's mine. That's my I channel. Know. I said he is from it. <laughs> from <laughs> it came from oh, the page. I am from the page. They wrote about me and then I came to life. How is everybody doing today? Happy Tuesday. What is everybody doing or reading? If you don't know, these are old school April themed sprints, but you don't have to be participating. But if you don't know what it is and you want to know, it's a read-a-thon and a watch-a-thon and a nostalgia-a-thon where we just freaking have fun. We earn points. It is team-based. There's info below and it's not too late to join if you have not joined, but you want to. Uh, and it's very laid back. Don't get all wigged out over the competition angle it's totally chill uh we do kind of say chomp chomp and caw and hit <laughs> but uh we are not seriously like trying to deck each other and really <laughs> get uber competitive <laughs> just uh, full-on fights just happen <laughs> yes so let's see what the chat is up to but wait before we do that what are you reading today or doing today andrew Wild stuff. No, um, I just got back from my walk because it's finally nice weather here. But I don't want to say too much because I'm sh as soon as I'm like, it's nice. It's like, bam, bitch, no. And I'm like, no. Uh, so it was nice today. Uh, and I was listening to more of Death Dream by Graham Nasty T. Isn't that the sequel to Night Warriors? It is. And it's fucking great. Like, it's real good. Like, it's, really? I think it's even, yeah, I think it's even better than Night Warriors so far. Like, it's pretty great. It's pretty great. Are it's the like, eels still around or no? We haven't come across the eels. So in this one, it's like a kid who, like, every time he goes to sleep, just, like, a creature just, like, comes out of him and just, like, slashes people. Wow. And, like, we don't really know what's going on, but, like, there's a scene where they, like, got them all hooked up to these machines and they're trying to do, like, the paranormal thing. And it's, like, all of the light gets, like, sucked out of the room. They're like, whoa, what's going on? And then all of a sudden there's, like, a thing that just, like, comes out and just, like, rips the nun, like, almost in half. Like, just shows up and it's like, rah! And you're like, whoa! And, like, there's like a whole bunch of people in the room and they're like what the what just happened there and like it's fun because like they're trying to like explain it to the cops and the cops is like what do you mean this is a bunch of nonsense what are you talking about poltergeist oh this is dumb give me real <laughs> give me real things and it's just uh it's really interesting and it's actually like the characters are really good too like so like there's like some some creepy scenes and it's like the first the main character is like the dad and like the first encounter with the beast thing he is like crippled for life like it like shows up kills the wife who is like not the mom because like the mom had died before but like the his, his his next wife um and she gets killed and then he gets like half of his body like kind of ripped apart and then like gets like a, a neck and a back injury so yeah. he's now paraplegic and like there's like really good writing about it and it was like it was like impressive like it's like good wow. disability writing and it's like there's a lot of interesting stuff going on and also unhinged random claws just going. Rah, rah. Wow, that actually sounds entertaining as hell. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I I only have like six hours left of the speed I'm listening to. I probably will switch to something else and just do a marathon. It's like one of those books where I'm like, I'm going to marathon that tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like you have the whole day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't want to, I don't, I don't think other than maybe listening to another hour if I have to cook dinner or something later. That sounds like a great plan. Well, last night I finished the first date prophecy, gave it five stars. So cute. Ooh, rom -com. Yeah, that looks so good. I love the I love it. It's so cute. I loved it. I loved it so much. And I think it's even cuter that they're like a husband and a wife. Yeah. And they wrote it. Sweet. It's so cute. It's right. It's also, right. I'm starting, or I already kind of started. I'm only like 20 or 30% into Joey Leonard's last horror movie marathon. We're just getting the setup of the main character, Joey, right now. Joey, what's he Joey. like? Is he some kind of a nerd who's like watching weird movies? No, he's like the Lawrence brothers. He's all like freaking beefed up and like, yo. No, I'm kidding. He's not like, yo. <laughs> I was like, who are the Lawrence brothers? You don't know Joey Lawrence? <laughs> no. He's an old school <laughs> dude. He's like a suave guy, like a teen heartthrob from back in the day. Oh, okay. 
But my audio book hold came in for Dead 11. So if I'm doing audio tonight, which I think I will do because I'm diamond painting, right, I will sorry. be starting the audio for Dead 11, which I haven't decided. Am I just going to listen to the audio? Am I going to do a mixture and read along? We'll see. But I'm excited. I did see Amy gave it a decent reading. Reading or de <laughs> a decent oh, reading. Flubs. I'm flubbing again. I can't talk anymore. I'm just going to be flubbing from now until the end of time. It's like I should have been in that movie Flubber and it wouldn't have even been about goo. It would have been about some random girl named Kelsey who just flubs all of her words and they call it Flubber. So but not maybe. as fun. But I mean, maybe. but maybe the goop would show up later and be like, oh, I accidentally created a sentient goop. And it's like, there you go. Or maybe like the goop is the reason why I flub. That's why they call it <laughs> flubbing. And well, it's like, oh, <laughs> you're named after me because I'm the reason I live like in your stomach and I'm the reason you flub. <laughs> I live in your stomach. Stomach. That's horrifying. Just like yeah, I don't really ooh, want it to be in my stomach. That's with your brain. Do a little tap dance on your belly. I'm a little uh, what is it called? The things that like oh, a parasite. I'm a little parasite. Oh. <laughs> I mean, um, a teacup. <laughs> <laughs> what is everybody else up to? Hi, Hannah. Perfect timing. Just finished watching Scooby Doo Camp Scare for the summer camp movie oh. and the animated movie prompt. Awesome. Yes. And that could also be like a nostalgic, like, you know, you could also put that into like a one with a nostalgic vibe because it's Scooby Day, which is Scoobus. The doobies and the Scoobies. Yes. Happy Terrific Tuesday. Yo, yo, Chomp. Hi. She's saying hello. hi to Kat and Alicia as well. Hi, Kelly. Hello, hello. Oh, Kat kiss is welcoming the Alicia. They're kissing. That's what they're doing. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Alicia's welcoming other peeps. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Hey, Helco. <laughs> <laughs> I was looks mad. Like, hey. You look, you look mad. like you're like you're like a like a super villain and you're like, I'll get you next time, Helco. Uh, I'll get you and your little dog too. No, I, I love pets. I would never get dogs. Yay, Sprints. Hi, Christine. Hi, Melissa. Alicia is in all caps saying, Andrew! Ah! <laughs> she's welcoming you. She's screaming at me. That's all. She's like, where no, is the She's dada? excited to see you. The dada. Where is the dada? Where is the dada? Anyway, that's an inside joke from a previous <laughs> stream. No one paying any attention. It's ridiculous. Hi, Melody. Hello, hello. Hi, I'm so glad to see you. How's your day going? Hello, Amy. Oh. Check out all my co-hosts, by the way. Speaking of Amy, because she is one of them, as is Kat. We got lots of people in the chat who are actually part of the co-host gang, including Andrew, who's with me on camera. Kelly was popping into the chat. Everybody's linked down below. Please follow and subscribe. It really means a lot if you subscribe to my friends. I'm only uh, about 40 away from, like, getting to 1,000, so. Really? You and Christine are really close, because Christine said she was close, too. Come on, let's get to our friends, our co-hosts, to 1,000, guys, please. Christine! Let's do it. I'm reading Mina and the Undead and coloring tonight. That is fun. Oh, I have to start Mina and the Slayers, but I'm intimidated because there's no audio. But I'm definitely... <laughs> Dropping books. <laughs> oh no, she's slaying a bookshelf. <laughs> By the way, I also have been spinning a wheel, and after I finish, and this is short, after I finish this one, the wheel chose for me a Shivers book. <laughs> writer. Is that, oh my god, that's the best cover ever. Isn't it great? I... It's a skeleton typing on a typewriter. Heck yeah, heck yeah. And you know what it'll fit for? A book about uh, authors or, you know, writings or books. Yeah. So it could match the ghost writer prompt that we have as a reading prompt. Heck yes. Don't mind me. I'm just going to do some wacky dancing for a few minutes. Woo, 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 woo. All right, I'm done. <laughs> but I was saying that I'm, I'm anxious about Mina and the Slayers. I know it's going to be great and it takes place around Halloween time. So it'll fit halfway to Halloween prompt. But I just wish there was audio, but I'm still going to read it this month. You got this. You got this. Oh, no. it was a wonderful attempt. Yes, I agree with Andrew. It was wonderful. It was classy. It was a classy willow. Unlike mine, which is classy. like a very unhinged willow. I just imagine her at like a bar, like a fancy wine bar with like, you know, like a Cabernet or something. Be like, 
Willow. <laughs> Someone actually comes in to meet her at the classy bar and their name is Willow and she's like, Willow. I can't, I'm trying to be <laughs> not unhinged. So she does it in a more like formal way. Like, Willow. <laughs> but I can't do it. I make it sound unhinged. Oh, hello. Hello. So unhinged. Hello, hello. everyone. Hello, Benjamin! Sorry. Hello! So I was not yawning because of you, I was just yawning in general. Oh, how dare you yawn! Dare we don't allow yawns here! No yawns here! Yawns are for the weak! <laughs> the weak! I'm just kidding, I yawn all the time. <laughs> well, I just like getting... That'd be like the weirdest prejudice that I'd be like, I can't stand anyone who yawns! You better I not yawn, yawn in front of me or I'm gonna... <laughs> Punch ya. Punch ya, or I was gonna say, bitch slap. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> I was gonna say that, but. Uh oh, we got more comments in. I'm so behind. I'm getting to you guys, I swear. Don't leave. Stay and I'll get to you. I am great. How are you? I actually had a good day today. I felt pr very productive with my real life job. Not as productive with old school April. I'm so behind on the Instagram. If anybody here has tagged old school April in a post or myself super kicking it on Instagram on a post, I have just not gone through them all. I promise I'm going to try to catch up between the next couple of days. Okay. Once you find fall behind a day or two, then it snowballs and you're like, oh shit. Yeah. And that's kind of where we're at right now. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, oh shit. And that I try to share everybody's Oops. post to my stories on old school April's official page and then save them into the uh like what do you call it? The highlights. So I'm still trying to do that. Just give me some leeway. You're doing great, you're kicking butt. You gotta work some days too to get the money. Get yeah, the money. I, I, but last night, I thought I was gonna have to edit all night. I actually got done early, and then I started, like, reading, and I was like, oh, I'm reading. I'm having a good, relaxing time. But in back of my heart, I knew I should be no, you taking an hour to catch up. No other readathon does every single thing they're tagged in. You know what I mean? Like no other. Yeah, I know, but there. I'm like, I will do it. You're like I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Hi. Just remember, this was going on. How was your day? Oh, just read chapter Ooh. four to nine. Oh, I'm no, sorry. I hope sick. you feel so better. Sad. Sometimes my mouse does not click. Stupid mouse. Oh, somebody's watching some Santo movies. Oh. Boys versus the monsters hi amanda chomp chomp hop to jump jump <laughs> are you wearing that blue shirt on purpose because you really do love the barracudas i have not said an anti-barracuda thing once this year are it you sure not year. once it was the joke last year no for, job that had not done this for newbies andrew's little joke was he would always say stuff like go other team like <laughs> even though he's a barracuda he'd be like yeah go parrots i hope they win and i'd be like how could you but it was a whole big joke we we all didn't care until after when she sent the messages that were like hey you ever do that again I never said that message. I never <laughs> said that. Ever. It, it was, it, I was yeah, in my boss right. barracuda mode. I was like, yo, I, I'm a mob boss. You better not call you're out right. the other team. All, all you really did is send me a picture of two pieces of uh, like concrete and then fishes. And I was like, oh, I know what she's, I know what she's implying. <laughs> I would be really creative if I did that, but I didn't. <laughs> I wish in hindsight that I had sent you a message like that because that's incredible and a great story. So I wish. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going till at least ten thirty. Forever, forever. It's like when I say I'm going to stay up all night for that sleepover party, which I will. I'm dedicated, guys. I am going to stay up for the sleepover party oh, on the twenty seventh, yeah. but um, I'm definitely going till ten thirty tonight. Going to watch Death Row game show tonight and finish an anthology. Awesome plans. Ooh. Eating dinner. I hope it's delicious, Crystal. She's eating snakes. That's what it looks like. She's like, um, num, 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 num. <laughs> that it would... gives me power. Um, I num, mean, num, no num, offense num. to anyone who likes snakes, but I mean, to eat them, I, I, but I don't want to eat snakes. No, you don't? I don't know. I bet you that no. anaconda from anaconda tasted good. Me, no. John Voight. <laughs> that would definitely give somebody indigestion, I think. <laughs> 
Who wants to eat something that ate John Voight? Disgusting. No offense to John Voight. <laughs> no offense to John Voight. But... I don't really want to eat the snake that has eaten you, dude. Like, get out of here. <laughs> Sorry, no, no. Crystal always has a delicious dinner. By the way, another channel you should subscribe to, yeah. Fiber Artsy. Please check her out. Hi, getting ready to read Ling Hoon. I hope More I people said that right. eating snakes. No, don't eat the anaconda nom, nom, snake. Nom, 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 nom. John Void, get out of here. <laughs> we don't want people to be freaking saying he's easily digestible because he ain't. <laughs> I'm reading Watership Down. Oh, I want to read that so bad. The graphic novel and Moth Town. I heard that's very depressing. The uh, movie's pretty damn depressing. Yeah. Oh my snakes, goodness. Snakes, parrots, oh. silver snakes. We watched an episode of Thanks to the Wonderful Amy at Amy Noel Reads of uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. She played it on Discord today. Oh, nice. And guess who won the competition? The Barracuda. You're the Kudas are here. Kudas. The Kudas are here. I love Pin. Uh, honestly, afraid. it's unhinged. It's really weird. But I'm I... afraid to read Pin. I have it, but I'm afraid to read Pin because I Amy don't know DNF'd it. Oh, there is some weird sibling stuff in it. She's Let's just like say too that, much but... penis. Uh... <laughs> I I thought it was kind of eerie and creepy. I liked it a lot. Nice. Hi, it's 11.30 in Manchester, so only a quick visit to give a like. Oh, thank you for visiting. Oh, I finished the Master Den book, and I gave it four stars, and that was Master Night Warriors. Tim. Master Tim. And that would be my third Master Den I had read. Grammy Master. Grammy. Oh, that's such a cute nickname. Grammy. Grammy. Like he's a grandma. But he's like a grandma. Like grandma Grammy. Master Den. Grammy. And he's like, don't call me Grammy. Yeah. I'll make an eel eat your peen. <laughs> I'm sorry, just just <laughs> more of me, please. Oh yes, I made you my favorite peen. Peel oh. with a side of peen. No, just kidding. Uh, I'm reading the Never Ending Story, but had to take a break after. Uh oh. Yes, Artrey. Not Artrey. You um. Artax. Isn't it Artax? Artax. Yes, Artax. Artax. No. Artax. Oh, that's so sad. Why, Artax? Hi, Melissa. Cool. She's slapping a heart and a bird. She's slapping. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a slap from that meme I sent you. Oh, yeah. The one where it like slaps the little buns and then he runs off and he's it's a cute little song. And it's like -a -boo -da -boo -da -boo -da -boo -da -boo. it's so cute. I didn't have time to read today, so I can't wait for some reading before bed. I'm reading The Lie Tree by Francis Harding. I hope I probably did not pronounce that right. I'm so sorry. Oh, super warm. I was sweating while driving today. Did you, did it all go okay, Amy? You feeling good? You feeling good about the drive you went on? I need to shower during the next sprint, but after that, I think I'm going to read the cuckoo clock of doom. Wait, is, is Amy like, you know, doing races? Is that what you're asking about the drive? No, like, but she, she had to like... drive on the freeway. I think it was today because her, oh. she recorded the clip where she talked about doing it yesterday. And she oh, said, I missed it. I missed seeing it yet. I haven't got there yet. So. Uh, the vlog is great. I would check it out for sure. I believe you. I'm behind on everything. Hi. Hello. Cameron, another co-host. Make sure you oh, subscribe to him too. You are real far behind. I am? <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, not that, not that bad. It's not, okay. it's not that bad. I also need to watch on uh, up on old school April vlogs because quite a few have been released in the last few days. I yeah. am behind as well. I've got to make sure that I even have them all saved. No, it was not sad at all. I think it was actually more calm than rom. So heavy on it's a rom com. And their little, you know how a romance always has a conflict. I thought the conflict wasn't super sad. It was believable and uh, not. Not a lot of sadness, but lots of nostalgia because it lightly references their real life meet cute in a way. In fact, I love the author's note because it talks about where the story, this fictional story is similar to their real life romance story and where it veers off. And I love that. And also, if you read the audiobook or listen to the audiobook, Danny Tamparelli, who obviously is one of the co-writers and was the star of Pete and Pete, the little Pete uh the little pete he was little pete he voices the, the one of the characters the the male character oh. Rudy. 
And the voice of the girl character, Lucy, is voiced by the actress who plays Matilda. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, like Mara, Mara Wilson, right? That's her name? Uh, I forgot her name, but they just wow. said it on our Discord and our buddy chat. Marisha, wait, no. I thought it was Mara Wilson, isn't it? Matilda. Hold on, I could tell you in a Matilda second. Matilda actress. Oh, yeah, it is Mara Wilson. That's right. Oh, you're right. I could have sworn it was, anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Ignore me, your boy Andrew's right. And he's celebrating with this weird coyote ugly dance. <laughs> <laughs> like on a bar top. I don't know, that's what it looks like. And I haven't even seen coyote ugly. I just know there's a bar where they dance but I, know that, but I know that scene too. And instead of like, it's me, I got a snake though. Like I'm using a snake and I'm like, ha ha, I got the snake. Snakes. We're gonna like twirl the snakes and then hurl them across the freaking room. Oh, I'm so sorry, snakes. And then there's they're gonna like, in this book. then they're gonna be, there's a snake in this book. Instead of there's a snake snake in my boot, there's a snake in my book. <laughs> <laughs> the way your face is book. <laughs> I, I was trying to sound like Woody from Toy Story. There's a snake in my book. Hiss hiss. I think I'm going to start a rival most vile. Cool. I'm having to decompress after being forced to help do an impromptu presentation at work. I hated it. Need some OSA fun. Boo work. Boo presentations. I'm so excited you're starting Autumn Crow. Ooh, I hope you enjoy it. Joey Lawrence was the older brother in the show Blossom, and his catchphrase was, whoa. whoa. But also he was on the Lawrence Brothers show, Brotherly Love, which I loved. Loved that show. Started the brothers, I guess. I think, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. Oh, Lewis was creeping and peeping. He wears. It doesn't seem like we're really behind. Oh, we are really behind. It I told look you. I, I, I was going to say, look, we are oh. behind. Do you want to go hyperspeed? Yeah, I'm going to go robot. Okay, robot hyperspeed. If I mess up your message, just know it's all in good fun. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Tomorrow I will stay home and today I will work on Thursday morning. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, blah, blah, blah. hello, hello, blah, blah. hey gang. <laughs> That's one of our co-hosts. Make sure you subscribe, Pretty Paper Cuts. Just said if I want to watch our girls are already. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Christine. Hi there, reading Black Cake tonight. Hey, Laura. I got home from work a bit ago. Made it some stir fry and opened another dry package for full new movies I ordered. I'm out of control, but I'll just blame it on OSA. I, I can't wait to see that. Uh, red chapters, blah, 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 blah. Amy is a classy lady. Those cereal... Oh, wait, no, those covers. <laughs> the cereal. The cereal. <laughs> those covers are when you all do little, 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 little. And, and love when you two do that little dance. I can't help but dance along. It's like positive energy. Aw. Activator. Also glad you've been liking the ambiance videos. I've been sharing at the Discord chats very much. I am great. Fear body horror book? Uh, The Troop. Hi, everyone. Life. I'm reading Dead Eleven and loving it. Do you have a favorite body horror book? Life. <laughs> life like real life yeah you know oh, aging <laughs> oh i'm scared <laughs> the process of aging i'm i'm excited you're loving dead 11 i'm gonna go back to going fast salutations and cool i'm here as i take a break from essay grinding grading and lace and le lace and planning lesson lace. planning more like lasso in planning <laughs> when i finish one of those arduous challenges from the temple guardian i will take another crack at the crash bandicoot one but if crash one enacts me to pack a rage attack i'll move on to crash two <laughs> crashing all over the place I cannot say that. Pin does explain it. why VC Andrews family chose Niederman. It does explain it to be her ghostwriter. I'm a late 80s baby and grew up with Nick and CN, but whenever y'all mention Barracuda, I get Barracuda, my heart stuck in my head. That's a 70s hit. Hey, 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 good evening, everyone. How are you all doing? Just finished Truly Devious. It was a good, really good fun. Both Amy and Kelsey's vlogs are awesome. Thank you, Kat. Uh, when you said cuckoo clock of doom, I immediately said, I'm going to sing the doom song. Amy, you did it. You survived the drive. Hello. I'm glad to finally be able to join alive. I'm so glad you're here. I'm reading robot voice. I'm so sorry. Yes, my drive went good. Much better than I anticipated. My anxiety was through the roof. Worth it, though. I had a great time book shopping. I'm so glad, Amy. Ooh. Matilda Actress is currently a YouTuber, I believe. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, Amy's so yeah. proud of you. You're much braver than me. My anxiety doesn't let me drive at all. Where's the purple parrots at? Let's see the emojis. Too many snakes. Hi, hi. Finishing Monster Blood. Then I'll go two. Then I'm going to start reading either Mall Rats or Flowers in the Attic. That's Monster Blood. Three, Kelsey. <sighs> Hold on. I need a break for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey, you're okay. You're like literally, we're basically caught up now. Oh, okay, you know, good. Okay. Don't I had worry. to do the speed readings and it makes me nervous. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's a Monster Blood 3. You're right. And I said 2. Uh, Mall Rats it was a 4 for me. I really enjoyed it. It's a great slasher. Totally different vibe. Flowers in the Attic is more slow burn, well written, but also kind of trashy 
classy. <laughs> trashy classy. I mean, I don't know how that goes together, but... I hope that's on my tombstone. Just trashy classy. That would really fit well for you, I think. <laughs> trashy, trash, and me as well. I would like to be trashy cozy on my tombstone. Oh, please. trashy cozy, that's fair. She you lived. think they're just gonna like put like a nice little like cozy thing in your like coffin? They'll just be like, oh, we're gonna put this little like nice socks and like, you know. Little, Aww. Nice. I also want my stuffed animal Toby in there Aww. with me because I he's my favorite stuffed animal, but I want to be known as the lady who had such great trashy cozy taste. I hope, like, I hope your tombstone is just like, uh, like a, a candy a corn. rump. Oh, just kidding. I, I was saying a candy corn, but okay. Oh yeah, that would like, be way better than a rump. Like, I don't even yeah, care about rumps. I want to be like, trashy, cozy, and I was like, all right, I'll give you a rump. I'm like, no, she, no. she died how she I, lived, I, I Richard Layman style. I'd rather a candy corn, Andrew. Make sure it happens. <laughs> It'll be like that one candy corn with a rump. I'll like, oh my god, the sticker. <laughs> The one that I got mad at because of the tattoo. Oh, yeah, you're like, I, I don't like, like the tattoo. I can't remember those tattoos on this candy corn's butt. Because it had a little tattoo on his little bun. <laughs> it had a little candy corn bun. <laughs> cool. Laugh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, I forgot we're supposed to laugh it out. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's me when I can't say stuff. It's flub time. Take notes, cat. Cameron Full Moon movies are the best. Matthew Lawrence is dating Chili from TLC right now, according to some celebrity magazine. Wow. It's, Does uh, he like it with beans or without beans? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to also make a dumb Chili joke. No. Uh, I'm, like, I'm like, I didn't know you could date Chili dogs. <laughs> Just like when Pee Wee's like, I love salad. And they're like, why don't you marry it? And then he literally marries salad in the episode. They have a little wet wedding ceremony. So beautiful. It okay. was very beautiful. Thanks. I feel you on that. I've come a long way from where my anxiety started. Once upon a time, I had panic attacks just leaving my house. I'm so glad you're a little better, Amy, and I'm glad it's over with for today. Well, up. shoot, I reckon I'll be calling it lesson planning from now on. Lesson planning. <laughs> lesson planning. Round yourself oh, up God. some steers and ride them into their cells, say it. <laughs> that was me last year. Definitely much better now. I'm so glad to hear that. Yay. Too. Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, tweet is a cute one. I never thought of using tweet for the parrots. Tweet, tweet, tweet. tweet. Although this one, it really does look like this cat is going after those. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's got like the, the, the eye of the oh, cat yeah, that, on her profile the, picture. That's like, I'm looking yeah. at you birds. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, yeah, I'm totally team purple parrot. Um, nom, 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 bitch. To eat. Oh. <laughs> to eat. I love that. I love that. Parrots love would be much lady. better than John Voight. I mean, but if they did eat John Voight, if somebody like... Threw a bunch of bird seed on John Voight, and he was like, "Ah, I'm gonna trap." Like him. Home Alone too. <laughs> they just was eaten. You remember the swarm of uh, pigeons, <laughs> and he's like, "Ah!" <laughs> anyway, so dumb. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm so glad you like the background. I have it a couple of '90s beautiful. backgrounds. I'm, you know, using every now and then. It's radical, bodacious, bomb, bomb. -bom. Didn't you use a ton more in your TV? Oh, yeah. or, no, your announcement video. I can't remember I did. the other words. Yeah. Yeah. Red. Radical, bodacious. Radical, radical. Awesome, cool. What are the other ones? I don't know. I got to keep tubular. thinking. Of tubular, tubular, tubular. I always forget tubular. Suffering succotash. It's Suffering those purple succotash. parrots again. All right, guys, we got through it all. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we're going to do a one hour sprint because I'm hungry all of a sudden and I want to make num. some pasta. I'm num, num. Well, maybe I'll make pasta too. Mine's going to be easy to make because it's just heating it up because they're leftovers, but. Woo! I still want to do it now. I and then I can put some reading in. Read in! Read in! All right, guys, good luck. I am going to put up this little, um, just a warning. This is loud, as I've been saying every time I put this up. <laughs> when it goes <laughs> off, <laughs> it's a really loud rock theme. It's like, <laughs> like Andrew just did, but louder. So do not be alarmed, or maybe you want to mute it in case you do get alarmed and you don't want to have a heart attack. But maybe you like to live on the edge. Or, yeah, maybe if you like to live on the edge, go ahead and keep the sound on. because Turn it, that volume up to the max. Because it will, it'd it be will like, surprise you. It'd be like that scene in, like, Back to the Future where he's like, Boo! and then, like, the freaking speaker explodes and you're like, whoa! Exactly. <laughs> 
Kelsey, Kelsey the muted like, reaction. I'm sorry. Kelsey was like, "Yes, and <laughs> no." Hi everyone. Hope ev oh, lil. I can't even read at regular speed. Hope everyone is well. Working on rehoming plants and some spring oh. cleaning. Big springtime is here. Hugs to the like button. Thank you. You can warn us, but it will still make me jump. I'll still probably warn everyone like three seconds before. I'll try to remember. Good luck. Doodaloo, doodaloo. Goodbye.
It's, it's gonna go off. Be careful. Don't get scared. Hello! As Mrs. Delphire would say, how did everybody do? Hello and welcome to Kat from Cat's Now Adventures. She's linked below. I'm sure Andrew will be momentarily back. What did you do on that sprint, Kat? Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I'm hearing something. What am I? Oh, <laughs> I can hear you now. I'm like, what am I listening to? I'm hearing an echo. Everything you're saying is repeating in my ear. Uh -oh. It was as you were on my... Um... <sighs> You were on my YouTube because I was watching the stream. <laughs> and then once I got on, I totally forgot to turn it off. So I'm like, I, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. <laughs> you were here in double Kelsey's. <laughs> yes, it was very weird. I in was a like, creepy twilight zone um, way. I actually ate. Uh, somebody just rang the doorbell. I think it might have been like UPS or something like that. They'll ring the doorbell and drop off the stuff. So the dogs, of course, are like freaking out. Yeah. Um, I, we had ordered takeout from Johnson's kitchen, which is, um, close to our house and we got a kingdom burger. Very delicious. I'll have to send you a picture of it. Yes. Please. Um, it had bacon and cheese and of course the burger and they fry an egg and put the egg on top. The only thing I didn't get, and then it gets dressed with, you know, lettuce and all that. I didn't get the grilled onions because I'm real picky about onions on my stuff. It has to be really cooked down for me to. Yeah, you know, I don't like enjoy raw it. ones. Me I like either. I do not like soft. Sauteed. I do not. So anyway, we got that, and then we got something called DJ fries, and what that is is it's like Cajun fries, and then they put this cheesy cream sauce with shrimp that has a little kick to it. It's like like almost like pepper jack with queso kind of cheese oh and gosh. you put that over your fries. So I didn't take a picture of the sauce over the fries because Barry and I split the burger and the fries. So he didn't want to put the cheese sauce on top of it <laughs> since we were going to split that it. That sounds guess. delicious though. That sounds like, like an epic dinner. We love Johnson's Kitchen. They, um, they're they like a little mom and pop restaurant and good family and um just absolutely love them. In fact, my oldest son is working there now for them. Oh. And uh, he happened to come home early tonight. And I'm like, well, who's fixing my burger? <laughs> a stranger. Well, who's fixing my burger? Because when I get my seafood stuffed potato, a lot of times Barry is the one that fixes it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I, um, I like the sound of everything minus the shrimp in the Oh, that's right. You don't. Yeah. yeah. I'm I wonder if you can get it with crawfish, though. I wonder if I, I would have to ask them. They might be able to substitute the crawfish for um, the shrimp. Yeah, that would be so good. I'd love that. Mm -hmm. I do love crawfish. Yeah. I don't know why I'm so anti-shrimp. I mean, I'll eat it. No, don't. Dry, no, no, no. I, I totally understand. Andrew can't stand shrimp. And the smell of it freaks me out, too. No, he, he cannot. He can't stand it. I don't uh, know why which, I like that. Which is hard because we like it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so like a lot of times. Y'all are at like, a crossroads. I'm like Andrew. So sometimes Barry will be nice and he'll make a gumbo with other stuff besides shrimp and or he'll make a pasta or whatever he's cooking that normally we like a shrimp bisque, he might do something else to substitute it for him. So now I mean Andrew doesn't live at home any longer, so it's not quite as pertinent. Yeah. <laughs> Now, you, if he comes over to eat, you're like, you're just out of luck. We're not going to make special exceptions for you. Oh, no, you, yeah. you guys wouldn't say that. No, we would not do that. But yeah, so I ate and then I was playing on iMovie. You know, I need to do my announcement video. So mm -hmm. it might just be lame with me saying, hey, it's May. Hey, it's May. This month. <laughs> like in that exact tone, hey, it's so, like, May. Really just, um, but I, I mean, you're so limited with iMovie, but there is like this little black and white silent movie filter thing you can do. And then, of course, you know, I'm limited with music and all that kind of stuff. So it's like, I don't know, maybe I'll film myself in a closet being terrified by somebody wanting to eat my brains. Just like have a hand <laughs> coming into the closet, like a shot of a hand, like reaching in. You're in the <sighs> closet. It's zombies. 
People I'm gonna tell you what. I'm when gonna this tell happens you. to you by participating in Zombie Awareness Month, uh, where we celebrate all things zombies, so that we can yes. be ready for the zombie apocalypse. Or we will something. give you. We will give you survival tips on how yeah. to do it. Yeah, let's put it this way: If I had great editing software and an awesome camera and everything, I would be like in my glory as a filmmaker. <laughs> yeah, I always am trying to get different equipment. Oh, like no. I was like, how many tripods do you need? I'm like, I don't <laughs> like the ones we have. How many lights, like, uh, what do you call it? Ring lights and lights do you need? I'm like, I just got the best one I ever got. I'm very happy with it. Right. And he's like, how many? I'm already looking to get a video camera with my Christmas bonus, even though I just bought a video camera, but I'm not happy with it at all. Oh, really? Yeah, it was super cheap. And it, it's not a name brand, so it's not like a Sony or anything. And the reason mm. I got it was I was like, well, it's cheap. I just want something that I can, like, while, while I'm listening to an audiobook, I can film myself reading for, like, B-roll. I really wanted it for B-roll to where I could, like, hold, like, put it in different angles very quickly so I could get multiple angles quickly. And I didn't have to set up a tripod because a phone, the difference between a camera and a phone, a camera can just sit there. Like you could put it on the edge of a sofa and it shoots at you. Whereas a phone will just fall over. You know, it can't just yes. stand. Yes, and even falls. like I love my tripod. It's one of those squid ones that's flexible. But even still, you, you're you like, you're kind of hindered in the height of it. And like, I've had it fall because the camera, uh, the phone is heavy whatever angle I'm trying to do and sort of fall over in the exactly. middle. Exactly. And so I thought, okay, I'll just get this cheap one. But the problem is it doesn't, uh, there is no focus uh, adjustments that you can do. So it's basically autofocus, no, and it autofocuses poorly. So to me, I'm just going to get a Sony. It's still cheap. I wish I would have researched more before I just bought the one I bought. But Paul's like, what are you going to do with the one we had? Like, you can't just like buy that and waste it. He's like, I want you to try to resell it. I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't, I just want to buy the new one. Let me just buy the right. new one with my freaking oh. bonus money in, in December. Well, there, I, I need to figure out, I'm sure there's other things I can do with iMovie. I just find like I never have time to really fool with it, you know, to see. And I wonder if iMovie on a Mac laptop is different than you iMovie on an iPad more. and especially if you got a new Mac, Mac. like they probably have the most up-to-date iMovie with a little bit more features so. well that may be also it I mean this is an old iPad and um I think it's I'm on borrowed time with it uh the other day I literally <laughs> had to kind of hold it because it pieces are breaking off like because the way my iPad is it's magnetic on the keyboard and then it has this like case around it well pieces of the case around it keep like <laughs> breaking off so pretty soon I'm not gonna have anything for the actual screen to hold against and so what happens is one side kind of leans sometimes so I'm like why is this not moving and it's like oh I have to hold it up on the side <laughs> I'm sure oh, um, so ridiculous. it just also has an old version of iMovie, so it doesn't have as many features in general. I know. I want to do all kinds of craziness, but I, really. Hi, I just, Jenny. It is what it is. I know. I saw this conversation going on during sprints where um, Liz says she thought it was cheesy. I love the movie. Final I did, Girl. too. Well, and then I thought, did well, we listen. It for our slasher marathon? We did. Yeah, and yeah. I loved it. You know what I loved about it? It was I thought it was unique with all like the big stuff in the middle and it was in black and white and yeah, you know, all the different the crazy things for for and slashers. But when when Liz said I thought it was cheesy and I, I asked her about the date and then she said, yeah, I said, I loved it. And I laughed, not because but then I didn't hear from her. So I'm like, oh, I hope she doesn't think that, you know. No, it it's just funny cheesy. how people have so many different <laughs> opinions. Like someone could think something's cheesy where like, you know, other people love it. I think it's a very heartfelt movie with a lot of, um, well, not to be redundant, but a lot of heart, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> and it's heartfelt, uh, in my opinion. But I could see how some people might think it's cheesy. I mean, the- uh, It is a comedy actors, horror. It, it is, is a comedy, a comedy Yeah, like, horror. you know, those yes. uh, people are freaking out about the slasher and it's over the top how they react. But I thought that added to it because- 
uh, what it's trying to pay homage to is the cheesiness of the yes, 80s a, a slashers. Movie. Yes, exactly. Yes. So I to mean, me, it, it fits with what it's trying to pay homage to. It's lightly making fun of it, but it's also paying its respects to it at the same time. I, yeah. I honestly loved it. I did too. I love that one. And I love the one we saw um, where it was the documentary of that serial oh, killer. I thought yes. that one was, um, was so, it? so oh. good. And then I also loved that movie Tucker and Dale uh, versus I didn't watch Evil. That one. You that, only watch that one. <laughs> that one is so. I think it's hilarious. Other people are probably like that is the stupidest movie I've ever seen. But they are so clueless as to what is happening that this group of people think they're like serial killers or slashers. And it's well, just, it's circumstances. Well, you know, speaking of serial killers and slashers, and uh, we were talking about zombies, another movie a lot of people would think are, is cheesy. <laughs> Scout's Guide to the uh, Zombie. Oh, I, love I mean, yeah, but it was great, though. I thought it was, it was so good. I mean, with the scene with the trampoline. Oh, my God. <laughs> so crazy. yeah people would yes and i i mean i i would recommend that to somebody if they wanted if they if like they, comedy kind if of they TV like comedy and they're okay with a little irreverence because yes, yeah. <laughs> but that irreverence was a lot better than rotten tail <laughs> oh, oh much better much classier i mean it's still kind of yeah. irreverent classier in a way. Barry and I literally laughed so much. I was like, I cannot wait for Kelsey to see this movie. It was really fun. I really like that one. <laughs> Andrew, are you here? You're not mute. Oh, no, you're muted. Okay, I thought you were unmuted all of a sudden. I was like, he just unmuted himself and he's just standing there silent. <laughs> Froggy! Andrew will never come back. He's probably um, weighted down underneath a whole bunch of cats right now. Maybe they're cuddling and they won't get up. Froggy saying hi to Cat. Santo, so cheesy, but I had a good time. I'm glad you had a good time. Hope you enjoy. Welcome to Camp Nightmare. One of my favorite goosebumps. I also like that one. But people like Amy, who's in the chat, uh, she did not like that ending for Welcome to Camp Nightmare. I liked no, she it. She didn't. I did. I was shocked. I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, the ending's kind of nuts, but honestly, I respected it. I was like, I didn't see that coming. I did not. He got I did not. I did not. Gotta go feed I'm, I'm reading the worms one right now. Go eat worms. How's that one? Is it okay? Um, It's okay. I mean, I'm like maybe halfway through it. Like it's taken a while to get to like the, the action. Yeah. I've never you read know? that one. So I don't know what it's like, but. And then I did buy another one. I bought, um, where's my other one I bought? I bought Stay Out of the Basement. I remember reading this one with Barry a long time ago. That one's good. I like so, that. So uh, I'll be curious. I, I want to get ahead. I want to also get the Shrunken Head one because I read that one when uh, Barry was younger too. And I, yeah. I remember liking that one. So I have this one. And I also have The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. I had gotten that for the fall and um, didn't get to it. Cameron so really, really likes that one. I, I thought that one know. was decent, but I know Cameron likes it. I don't know if I should read it now or if I should hold it for. Uh, I can't remember if it takes place during the summer it, or the fall. Well, it takes place in the fall. That's why I got it. You, oh, you're sure? Yeah. For some I'm reason, sure. I thought it wasn't super fall like, but maybe it was. So I don't know. I might debate. I mean, but if depends. you do that one now, you could count it for the prompt halfway to Halloween. That's true. That's true. Because it's got Halloween um, vibes if it's set in the fall. So I will count. tell you that if anybody wants a quick, enjoyable read you need to read Benicula. i'm going to read it i've got a hold on my library andrew you disappeared we thought you were gone we no you were i was i was putting out family fires over the phone so oh, don't no. worry <laughs> Okay. I mean, yeah, my sister's getting married and my grandma is trying to get people invited who are not supposed to be invited. Oh, still and, that's going on? Still going on. Well, <laughs> it's my grandma's birthday. Grandma not know that you have to pay per person and it's awfully expensive. <laughs> she she offered to pay, but she didn't ah. understand how much it was going to be, but it wasn't about money. It was like it was ah. never about money. Ah. There was not people who were invited, so it was just like a, oh! <laughs> yeah, so, so much drama. I'm so sorry. And look, Cameron's saying hi to Cat. This is before you came back, Andrew. <laughs> here, went for a walk to dishes and uh, watching a full moon movie for OSA called Blood Dolls. Oh, that Ooh, sounds good. That's a bonkers. Make a note of it, Andrew, for our possible uh, commentary. 
we were saying that, uh, Cameron, we were saying when me and Andrew were brainstorming about what we could do for future crunk commentaries, we're like, we should do one we haven't seen that Cameron's watched and said is crazy. Yeah, exactly. Like, we like think Windigo was the one we were thinking about. Oh, yeah. Was that the one he talked about in his video? Yeah, that was yeah. cool. But I'm probably going to watch it this month, so probably not. I won't be, I won't be a, a Windigo. Maybe we could squeeze in time to do it this month, maybe. I'm down for when heads. You know me. Just well, let me talk to Paul and get more days where like what's happening, so I could be like all out, no responsibilities, go crazy. We'll see. <laughs> uh, either, either or, either or. But yeah, it was my grandma's uh, birthday yesterday, so my sister called today, and then it was like my grandma was like. You gotta invite these people. And I was oh, like, oh no. no. <laughs> and like my sister was like, no. no. She said, I'll think about it. <laughs> oh no. Call, 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 call. Um, That's a lot of calls. Kelsey, I wanted to tell you that, okay, so about Bonicula, mm -hmm. I ended up finding when I went to get it off, I had the physical copy, but it was on audio through Cloud Library. And my cloud library has three of them in one. Yeah, I think I, I I have a hold on one and it's three in one. So I'm excited about that because I this is the only one I have out of the series, but the narrator is excellent. Amy was 100%. Yeah, it's that guy from Matt. Well, he's from a lot of other things, but he's in Mad Men. And, um, oh my God, it is so fun. I, I, I chuckled so many times in the car because I've read this a couple of times. But it's well, been a Amy's while. The second I, one's her favorite too. The the sec I think the last time I read this was with Andrew, my Andrew, when he was younger. And um there's Chester the cat is so awesome. The things that he does are so hilarious. But I would recommend this to anybody, and it is a host wreck. So more points um, if you read yes, it. Yes, I would. I would definitely pick it up because it sure took no time at all. Yeah. No time. I mean, I read, I listened to it to my mom's and back, and I was done with the book. And you don't speed through very. You no, don't no. It was normal, speed. normal speed. Wow. So yeah, hear that, guys. Uh, try to find the audio because it's not on Audible. I will say, I think I looked for it on Audible. So you do have to get it probably through your library. I just like the way that you deliver that, Kelsey, like a carnival vodka. You hear that, folks? You hear that, <laughs> you hear that folks? You better pick up Benicula. You, well, it, it, you better do it now. You get oh. this as an addition if you pick it up now. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> carnival mixed with infomercial, but whatever. Yeah. I wonder if it's on, like, Libro FM at all. Like, it's, like, one of those. I ones. have not searched for it on Libro, I will say, because I don't use Libro too much, but, but it wasn't on Everrand. I think I searched on Everrand, and it wasn't there. Woo -woo. Shout out for Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery is great, especially if you listen to the audio, which of course our boy cat. I know. I know. They're I like all on all. they're all on um uh Libra FM. So if you do use oh, that, okay. Yeah. If anyone uh, uses that, heads up. There's like the one to three collection and the four to seven collection. Oh, they've got the like, four to seven? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. Thanks, Andrew, yep, yep. for letting peeps know. Yep, yep. Sorry that you weren't feeling Never Ending Story right now, but I, just so you know, if anyone is reading the Never Ending Story, it, it never ends. So, you know, you can pop back in anytime. Well, yeah, and I, I haven't started that yet, uh, and I, it's my book club book. I've got an area on my own Discord for it, but I'm not going to start talking about it in that Discord until near the end of the month, because I want to wait a little bit before the live, sh I don't want to read it so early, like, it's only the ninth right now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to read it this early when I'm hoping to have the live show the first week of May. So anyone looking to read that along with us, just know that I won't be talking about it on the Discord and there's a little bit of action in the Discord, like Crystal was talking about it and our friend Monica. But other than that, not a lot of people are talking about it yet. It's still early. It's still, so you have time to pick it back up, is the point. What mm -hmm. even is the layman pick this month? I'm actually postponing the layman pick. If anyone's doing the Richard Layman read along with me, just know that our pick is Body Rides. Apparently, I heard through Instagram, there's a lot of nipples mentioned. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, everyone's calling out about how terrible freaking Richard Layman is. I was like, oh, I'll freaking read the nipples all day, every day over well, Frankenhooker. Well, I was going to say, if anybody, anyway, anybody, no, no, no. If anybody was loving on Frankenhooker and disses you about Layman with any kind of everybody things like that. Everybody was. I mean, literally. I they, don't understand. There was 
body parts like the boob parts. Where yeah, he's like, well, like, oh, wait, it's a feminist <laughs> message. No, it's directed by a man. Like, no, it's just like hiding that, yeah, he loves boobs. Uh, At least talk- Richard Lehman's honest and he's like, nipples, yeah. I can respect <laughs> it. He's honest. He's like, he's honest. He's <laughs> honest. I'm he's going to be honest. a straight creep and I'm going to admit it. I'm going to admit being really weird and creepy. I'm like, okay, Layman, at least you're upfront about it. I thought that was just you. I thought you would just say that. Like, I'm just here to say I am weird and creepy, okay? Well, I mean, I am kind of weird and maybe creepy, but I like to creep and peep, but anyway. You're peepy, not creepy. Yeah, I'm peepy (laughs) in more than one way. I like to spy on peeps, not really, but also I I love the candy peeps. I like to spy on people. (laughs) I don't really, but. Are you a fan of Kevin Bacon? yeah okay well he you know he's gonna be in the new ty west movie oh, you know how ty that. west did the movie oh, pearl maxine. yes maxine's new, new pearl did, and the other one the x uh-huh. x movie okay well ty west did those have you not and seen you pearl seen i have not seen either uh, okay oh yeah i've seen either i like i like x but pearl is the best movie yeah but like, don't I you you pearl. have to watch x first though right I mean, you probably do. Yeah, I mean, X I is also say. a great movie. I, so, like, I would, I would say, that, yeah. Yeah, it, because Pearl is pretty cool, it. but still, I mean, I think it's better if you. Yeah. I, 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 right. I thought it, I think it would be better. But anyway, Sky right. yeah. West has a new one coming out in July called Maxine. Maxine. The same actress that was in it in those other two movies oh. is in this one but it's not anything to do with pearl or anything no it's a it? direct it's a direct sequel to x though like it is a sequel oh to it x. is a sequel to yeah. x okay yeah. so okay. maxine is a, a sequel to x that's why like in the middle it's like maxine and like the big x in the middle okay i was wondering i was wondering um i haven't looked anything up about it kelly happened to the trailer um, just came out it looks with really the trailer good. it looks uh, really good and i was like ooh. Because I like him. He's the same um, director that did that House of the Devil. Yeah, and I yeah. love House of the Devil. Like, that's so one of my good. favorite underrated, like, little gem movies. Yeah, so I gotta check those movies. I like out. Innkeepers as well. Like, I feel like Innkeepers I, I is like one that, that one people too. don't talk to as I much. It's a little Innkeepers. slow. It's a slow burn ish, but I like it. It is. It is. Kat, I, I definitely think you would like Innkeepers. Yeah, I think okay, so. I'm gonna write that down. Is it wintry in Innkeepers? Isn't it cold? Uh, I thought they had jackets on. I, they might have jackets on. I don't think it's like overly cold, but not it that it matters. Be... But me and Kat are always looking when we do the yeah, like winter, winter marathon. We're yeah. looking for wintry. We're running out. I mean, it doesn't have to be Christmas anymore. I think didn't we decide that we might just do cr- some like Christmas, a, but yeah, also winter? winter. Yeah, because yeah. we're we've pretty much scraped exhausted the, barrel. the great. Yes. Yeah, it's sad. It's, it's sad. <sighs> <laughs> the winter of your I, I, I'm kind of feeling like that about my zombie movies too. Like I'm really? being like scraping the barrel. But I started a list today of some movies that have potential. So I'm gonna see about putting those on my list. I, because you know what happens is I'm Ugly Sweater Party Part Two. Coming soon. Oh over no! And over. <laughs> Andrew's like Ugly Sweater Party Part Two. Well, you see, that's what happened. No, that's I what know. happened, Andrew. We were scraping the I barrel of <laughs> of um, scary Christmas movies. Yeah. That's what we ended up with. Yeah, and I ended up with that guy, and I was like, I knew that guy. I went to a party once with that guy, and I was like, I can't <laughs> believe it. he was arguing to me about Godzilla, and I was like, you are an Ugly Sweater Party. I win this argument. <laughs> I know, and like, I love bad movies. You guys know this, but that, yeah, but was, that was a horrible. bad that movie. Like, horrible. nothing There's, good bad. That should have been no it's, stars. None. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, negative. Five Agree. Stars. It <laughs> was are... it was bad. <laughs> it seems like that's kind of a thing that happens with new. Like if it's like post like 2015 ish, like a bad low budget movie, and you've never heard of it, like oftentimes it's like just something like gutter trash that just like filmed. But also, just, like, there's like out. bad on accident where you can actually find joy in the well, terribleness. Yeah. But then this one's bad on purpose, and it's yeah, poorly it done. Is. Bad on purpose. It's kind of uh, like Sharknado. I never got in the Sharknado movies because of that kind of same idea. idea. It's you know yeah. they're trying very hard for it to be a bad good movie but no one thinks it's good <laughs> no one in the discord thought it was good just saying no one in the discord thought it was, it was awful good. like Liz i almost did... her goosebumps that's good sorry go yes. ahead I'm afraid to like recommend a movie I didn't do my homework <laughs> on that one well, it's hard to even do your homework because sometimes things have good reviews and you don't like them like that's what happened with Saint well, that's it's on all kinds of best Christmas movies and we didn't like it 
Yeah, well, this I never was watched on a list. Things. This was on a list. But I'm, we'll have to I say. I mean, it was on I, a list, but like, like, was it a government list for like, do not allow these people to fly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I like Saint a hundred times better than Ugly Christmas Weather. Oh, well, me too. I, I, well, I only watched half a Saint, but still true. <laughs> I watched it for the both of us. It's suffered. no hard rock zombies, that much is for sure. <laughs> Honestly, if you're looking for a zombie movie, we did not watch Hard Rock Zombies for Zombie Thon. I think we just watched it randomly on my corn. I thought I thought you no. did stream it for Zombie Thon. Yeah, we did. For oh, you did? did? Yeah. Well, anyway, I if anyone's looking for a zombie movie, yeah. that one is so bad it's good. I think what it is is people voted for it. Yeah, oh. you put a poll, remember, and oh, people yeah, okay. voted. Red seventy pages, great job. Yeah, but even that was better than Ugly Christmas Sweater, Andrew. Oh have yeah. To oh no, I kind of I had fun with Hard Rock. So Hard Rock Zombies is not good, but I had fun with it. So. <laughs> Go team rumps. Next year's teams will be the rumps, the nipples, and the pee. <laughs> oh my oh, god! No. Uh, you know you gotta add a little bit more alliteration to it. You know what I mean? Like it'd be like the rank rumps. No, <laughs> oh no, the rank rumps. That's not good. The peens pulverizers. The mm, I don't really know anything for nipples. The nasty nipples. The gnarly nipples. <laughs> gnarly, gnarly nipples, nipples. and nasty nipples. Gnarly, <laughs> gnarly nasty nipples. Gnarly huh? nasty nipples. <laughs> I have no idea what's her GPS. Are you talking about gnarly nipples? nipples? <laughs> She's got headphones on, thankfully. <laughs> or else he'd be hearing us. Well, but, but she said it out loud, though. She said Oh, oh she did say it out loud. Well, somebody, somebody rang the bell. I don't know. Sorry. Pitiful. So. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. You don't know? They didn't have anything out there? No, we don't know. We're trying to figure out the mystery doorbell ringer. Uh, apparently, uh -huh. my oldest son thought somebody, some young kid rang the bell and then jumped in his car and peeled out. I heard none of that, but that's okay. <laughs> Beware See, of teletherapy. I understand why some people like Frankenhooker and the style of it. I think the only reason I didn't like it is because so many people are telling me how much they dislike Layman that it made me mad that people liked Frankenhooker. Uh, and I say this with love. I, I, I love everyone. <laughs> I love everyone who doesn't love Layman but loves Frank and Hooker. I still love you guys. We can totally agree to disagree. Yeah. But it made me personally mad at the movie because I was like, "This is bullshit." I was like, "This director guy is all like, oh, feminism," but at the same time, the it's hidden behind behind this message of feminism, but. It's all these boobs and shit. And I'm like, at yeah. least Layman's straight up, like, straight up about it. I'm fine with that. I love the trashiness of Layman. I don't have a problem. I'm not a, I'm not a prude. I mean, I read and love Layman. But I'm the not idea a prude. that it was <laughs> hiding behind the feminist angle, but it was directed by a man. If it was directed by a woman, I'd be like, okay. But the man was still like, <laughs> let me appeal to other men with the boobs. <laughs> for no reason. But it was, it was it's tits and ass, tits and ass, tits and, and ass. And so the same people <laughs> hate Layman, but love that. And I was like, no. <laughs> anyway. If you hate Landman but love Frankenhooker, that's okay. I just what? cannot relate. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You again? You again? Frankenhooker was a work of art. I love it. I might need to read some Layman. <laughs> <laughs> See, they you get the color. You might recruit some more Layman people if they. Yeah. I mean, some of these people that love Frankenhooker may not have ever read any Layman. But there is no feminist angle in Layman. He just is like, I'm a creep. <laughs> I'm a creep. I'm a creep. <laughs> Um, same Kelsey lame. same. I did I, like I did I do have to say lame. that I did like the um I did like the ending of Franken Hooker because I thought that guy deserved Oh I thought he kill. deserved it too. <laughs> but it was just the the principle. I'm just being dumb. Just ignore the, me, guys. The, you have an opinion. Don't don't ignore But I didn't like opinion. the movie. I did not like the movie. I can tell you that much. Which you, you probably would have already known that. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry. Oh, look, um, huge Banicula fan here. It's so short. Uh, you can read it in like a half hour. It is so good. So, so good. Did, Cameron, oh. did, I'm sure Cameron must have read the whole entire series, I would think. Well, Amy definitely has. She's read all of them, I believe. Yeah. I, I, I remember when read, Amy did it. Amy, didn't you read the graphic novel too, or no? I thought she did. Maybe I'm wrong, though. She's a master of Banicula. She like I fell love. in love with Vanicula and like binged it essentially. Well, that's that's why I she think I'm gonna go fact ahead. Be a bunny vampire. We don't know. I mean, yeah, because she likes him so much. She was like, I want to be one. No, just kidding. 
<laughs> I don't know. It you is for Audible. I didn't realize it's sold in a bundle. Also, oh. if you're looking on your library app, make sure you do search for the collection because I thought I could not find it through my library, but it was because I was just searching for Vanicula. But once I typed in Vanicula collection, it came up. It wasn't coming up before. Oh, yeah. It was just coming up as well. Like it only has three books in my my collection. And so, uh, I'm Audible. excited because I haven't read either of the other two books. So, yeah. So Audible does have the same things like I was talking about with um, uh, Libro does. So there's like uh, six hour, like the first three books and then four mm -hmm. to seven are also on there as well. So Andrew, it would be perfect. He said, it's a wild movie. I'll let you know about Blood Dolls. I'm only 20 minutes in, but so you far it's insane. Me. We could do both. You just gave me a heart attack. I was looking at Audible to like confirm or talk about what was on that. Then she's like, Andrew. And I was like, oh. oh, I'm sorry. No, no, not like you have anything bad. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I'm that trying he's to gonna, That he's telling us, yes, we should do that one. Yes. I, I skipped a whole bunch of stuff. I'm so sorry. Hold on. I'm a skipper. Stay out of the basement is on my TBR. That's awesome, Stay Stephanie. By the way, the how basement. are you? I'm excited about reading that one again. I don't like basements, so it'd be. Oh my god! I, I'm not a fan of basements either. Where was I? Oh, Where by the way, your burger you? sounded delicious. Yeah, yeah. I, I sent you a picture of it, Kelsey. I saw it. Um, <laughs> updated my reading journal. Oh my gosh! Please share pics of your reading journal. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm addicted to journal pics, so please, please. <laughs> it's like instead of I would never say send me nudes, but send me journal. Oh my god. <laughs> Kelsey, you should never. Someone's gonna take that one out of context. I never say it. You just never say. Send me nudes. Someone's gonna take that part. And no, like, yeah. don't take it out of context. You guys know what I mean. Send me the journal pics. <laughs> the shower, walked my dog, and watched. Cr I didn't. Okay, so I didn't. Yes, it just podcast. came out. It just came out. Okay, maybe it today. Come up. But like, even if it just came out, I should get an alert. I mean, I maybe he didn't tag you. That's all. That's something that happens. I thought I had alerts on for his videos, but maybe not. Got 6% into Arrival Most Vile. It's cute. I wouldn't expect it to be cute. I didn't know it was a cute type of story. Going to read a bit of Conan, The Road oh, of yeah. Kings. Woo! Woo! Hi! Woo! Hi! It must Woo! be pretty late for you, isn't it? I hope it's not too late. She's over there with Froggy. Hiss, hiss, hiss. The By the way, can I show the picture of the burger? Oh, yeah. Look at it, guys. It looks amazing. Um, nom, 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 nom. Cat's food. Share it. Oh, digitally dear. somehow i know i uh i took it after i did my um six at april thing oh yeah we did that yet. so you know, like a uh, fancy book like cats like i'm all fancy Here's i know i'm reading i'm reading classical literature what is it <laughs> Sense and sensibility. Oh, I'm like going to be old British with my sense and sensibility. So you're going old school. Old with an E. <laughs> with an I'm E, going yes. To be fancy with my pinky up. Like Patrick you're going to be Ollie. <laughs> I almost did two fingers. Oh, <laughs> I've anyway, never seen anyone do like this. This will be oh. my officially first Jane Austen book because. Oh. I did read Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, but I don't feel I can technically count that, even though it is... It's an adaptation. Though. Adaptation, yeah. and Jane Austen's name is on the book. I just don't feel I can actually say that I read Pride and Prejudice. I kind of agree. I mean, you can't really say it's the same. So this is my technically my first Ooh. Jane Austen. Ooh, fun Clean up, eat dinner. Now I'm going to read. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Get to read and relax. <sighs> Almost done with my point horror book, Mother's Helper. I have that one by A. Bates. A. Bates. <laughs> Taking a break from it to make dinner. Dinner. Can't wait for your announcement video. Me too. Sherry. Chomp, chomp. E Kuda. Kuda. You get an epic chomp. <laughs> this is also an epic chop hump eating your brains bitch. <laughs> like, you, you do it chomp, so chomp. weird chomp, chomp. no offense i like the weirdness hi sherry says vanessa chomp chomp <laughs> oh <laughs> and i say it we're because like oh, 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 oh. and it was almost like operatic it yeah. was yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> like performing for the background. Do you guys remember the Fifth Element movie with Bruce Willis? Yes. That blue lady. I already talked about this once, I think, this month. The blue lady where she's like, anyway, chomp, 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 be the movie scene you recreate and you have to go like full <laughs> blue you do all the blue and you're just, like you have a blue freaking head thing on yeah you need a blue head piece and she's like oh, she oh, definitely oh, does this move oh. chomp 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 well but she doesn't go chomp but she goes <laughs> <laughs> anyway i love that freaking song i love that scene i don't know we could all reenact it one for each team <laughs> That would be kind of funny to also cut it to make it all go good together. Well, and we could do in different levels, like I like that. I like this idea. I hope you wake up, Froggy. The ending is cool. I also hope you wake up, Froggy. For the uh for oh, it's Linda. In, uh, for in the house. Ooh, updated Etsy list, list teens and listen to We Sold Our Souls. Maybe Ooh. I'll get to Mina in the next sprint. I love We Sold Our Souls. Yeah, so We Sold Our Souls was great. I need Five to stars. To I'm excited. One. Wait, you haven't read that one? No, I need to reread it because, like, oh, good. the ending, the ending is like one. No, I think I need to physically reread it because, like, that ending, the, the stuff that happens in that book can be like kind of hard to follow if you're like listening to an audiobook. You know what I mean? You should follow and like do both because that's yeah. how I read it, and it was easy to understand. Easier. There were some, there were some rough scenes in that that uh, book. Old man in a car. That's all I have to say. Yeah, uh, really good, but it was like really good. It Old was great. I love that cars. part. Uh, love is a weird word to use with that scene. Uh, yeah. but when I, well, you know, like we love the execution of it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the description. Execution. The imagery. Uh oh, Crash One isn't doing it for me. Just feels unfair. And this is coming from a Mega Man of NES Mega Man <laughs> games. <laughs> Freaking old Crash. Baby. You did not offend this. <laughs> I love Final Girls. It makes me cry every time the Betty Davis eyes dance. I also love that movie. Just to read yeah. it. It's great. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's making fun of another movie. It's kind of making fun of the genre, like lightly poking fun at the right. genre. Like the And that's the why they have all the game. graphics come in and they have like the black and white and all the different shifting and stuff is to because that's a lot of what the 80s movies did those kind of things and I don't know. I, did, I thought it was kind of unique, honestly. I really hope that my life too is even better. You know, what if we get sequels? You know, this is our first live, and then like you know, we do, and then we come back, and it's like our lives too. And then you have, <laughs> you have better controls. It's more smooth, less obstacles. You know, maybe the sequel will be better to our next, like to this exactly. live. Exactly. Not the game's fault. Oh, Tucker and Dale. Yes. Yes. Watch Tucker and Dale. Oh, look, a fan of Scout's Guide. It's fun. Woohoo! There is no Andrew, only Zool. I mean, Alistair. <laughs> it <laughs> makes that me is. angry to this day. Wait, what makes you angry? I missed it. Ooh. When I showed back up, she's like, I can't believe he's back. Oh, right. maybe the Goosebumps book. Oh, maybe. the Goosebumps ending that she hated. Oh, yeah, that she like, the Camp Nightmare. She really hated I agree, it. Liz. I love reading the Goosebumps books. And I didn't expect the ending either, but not in a good way. <laughs> Hello. Hello. She's clapping. Hello again. I know I think I put some of these up already, like that one. Has anyone read really? The Beast from the East yet? Not yet for me. Not yet. I have not. I need to get a copy of it. I think he did and gave it like 2.5 stars. Yes. Uh, uh, Why I'm Afraid of Bees is one of my favorite Goosebumps and it doesn't get enough credit. I'm, I haven't read that one. I haven't read that one either and they didn't got have the, it. The bee has a human face on it and that's a no. For yeah, I think that that's, scares that's me. that is no kind of creepy. Me, I think it's no for me, dog. It's a Thank factor. You. I appreciate Boop that. Like, boop that. Like, I, I appreciate that. It does Tony, help. Come here. I knew you'd love it, Cat. Have you listened to any more of Banicula yet? Not yet. Not yet. I was catching up on podcasts when I went to work today. So what podcast? Um, it's this month, by the way, I, I happier believe. with Gretchen Rubin, Andrew. I wasn't trying to make fun of you. I was curious what yeah. you listened to. It's just my podcast with Gretchen Rubin. All things happiness. 
nice. That's nice. It sounds like a nice podcast. Yes, it is. It is cat, cat's like, you say anything more, I'll get the claws out. I get the claws. I might be a snake, but this snake's got claws. I celebrate halfway oh. to Halloween all April. I mean, I I don't know. Not May 1st, but I mean, what do you guys think? Well, I would say, um, I, don't, I don't know. What's how many days of the oh we can do it with the how many days of the year there are there's 365 days of the year. This so. year it's 306 to 6. Oh yes. This is weird. So that means the leap year math. Whatever the math is. Let me do the so math. I want to do it, math. Right? Ignore and, me. Ignore. Andrew is a <laughs> mathematician math. and a firefighter. <laughs> Three, six, six. Oh. One I like much more. So yeah, I can't wait. Three. I'm trying to think when I'm going back. Oh. I will listen to the second binicula on the way to Kelsey's house. Perfect. Yay. And yep. then I will listen to the other half on my way home Sunday after spending the night at my mom's house. Oh, Me and Kat, for I'm those a- who don't know, we're having an old school April day on Saturday. I'm sorry, I'm, Andrew. I didn't know you were talking. No, no. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Continue talking. I'll like, actually figure this out. <laughs> You don't have to be a mathematician. I'm doing the math. It's happening. I'm doing it. I'm doing the math. Uh, Amy was asking about Beast from the East just because she hasn't read it yet and wants to know if people are enjoying it. Yes, Biblio, Biblio Shark gave it a um, two star. You don't have to do it now. Hold on. I'm, I, I'm... I haven't I haven't uh, put any of my points in yet. I have to I have to look at all the prompts and see what my books are are um because I didn't do a TBR. So you bought a Richard Lehman book that kind of makes me happy and that's really twisted of me. I'm so sorry. I do want to reiterate that you can like Frankenhooker and Lehman. Like you can because Alicia is awesome. She is. is She has amazing taste. I will say. Alicia always has my back. I love her. She tells me what not to read. I tell you what not to read, too. I know, you do. You have my back as well. I told you to stay away from Layman. I know you won't like him. I will not read Layman. You shouldn't. I so technically, not. halfway to Halloween is May 31st. What? Because October is the 304th day of the year. So uh, May 31st is the 152nd. So all this time I've been saying it's April and it's not? It's better uh, if it's April. Yeah, but yeah, is anybody... better? But has anybody else ever said that it was halfway through Halloween in uh April? I've never heard anyone say that in, in May, but except for you. <laughs> yeah, but if it's May 31st, really, it's practically it's in June. Uh, I mean, don't you think? Yeah. Let's is that see. why is there's like I June have not, and stuff I like have that? not calculated it yet, by the way. Video gaming has been taking up all my time. That is so fine. Slowly picking up books again. Nice. I, I wish I could play. I, I, I wish I could play some like video slowly games. Pitching, like... Crinkly rumps. Uh, you know what? I could probably play Andrew's retro game thing. They might yeah, have some my old games, games on there. You can't steal yeah, my retro games. She's gonna steal, yeah. steal her son's games, not yours. Yeah, Kat's gonna, he, Kat's gonna show up to my thing, give me pallet therapy, and take all my games. And my <laughs> she's coming yeah. for you. I'm gonna throw a pillowcase over Andrew's head from behind, so he's not gonna know it's me. Throw it over him. He'll be like flailing around and fall on his bed and can't get out the pillowcase because I'll wrap a string around it somehow. That's hardcore. And then, and then I'll, then I'll go in and mess with his stuff and then go back in my super sonic jet that i have to fly all the way to canada and back very quickly <laughs> and then you're like you know you'll park it into your your house because i'm sure your house has room to park a isn't super it isn't jet. it wonder woman like, that has the invisible jet oh yeah the invisible there's jet. only one person well, you're i know like been talking about hurting people with pillowcases andrew gets covered with a pillowcase and he thinks I don't know who's putting this pillowcase on me. And All what that, happens is she doesn't friend, know. Because Andrew would be like, Andrew's like, I, this is the workings of Kat. But Kat, how would she get to Canada? She wouldn't be in Canada. And then the, and 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 the truth is figured know. out. When I'm like, the next day I'm like looking for Moose. I'm like, where did Moose go? And then like you have your sprint. All of a sudden Moose shows up in your background because she snuck on your supersonic jet. I kidnapped. Oh, no. <laughs> you kidnapped. For real, real cat. <laughs> Mystery cat is a cat. Sounds like a lost episode of Nickelodeon's Are You Afraid of the Dark? 
<laughs> I have seen X, but I haven't seen Pearl yes. yet. I might have to watch it. Oh, well, you're you're gonna gonna love it. I would recommend Favorite. seeing Pearl because it explains so much about X. Oh, oh my gosh. I just I don't know. Amazing. I like both of them. They were both disturbing movies, in my opinion, but they were great at the same time. Every time I was watching Pearl, I was like, I can change her. Are we high? We are no. on life. Oh, 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 oh. On life. <laughs> no, if I was no, this high, is, I'd be this, like, oh. this is literally our normal personality. Yeah. And this imagine? is calm, kind of. Like, yeah, this is like, actually oh, not that unhinged. It's, it's not that honest. it's not that crazy. <laughs> it's mostly hinged. Hey, what are you doing oh, with those masks, goodness. little girl? Oh no. She's About getting into trouble. Uh, I'm down for a bit of creeping, creeping and peeping. This is making me want to read Layman to see if it really is that bad. I mean, it is, it is bad for most people. I just couldn't understand why people liked Frankenhooker but hated Layman because to me, Frankenhooker felt really exploitative, even with the feminist angle, because it was directed by a man and it was still like showing tons of tits. So. <laughs> I, mean, anyway, I, just, I, I know that Kelsey does I not like that because I was like we were supposed to watch a we were supposed to watch we did a marathon where we were gonna watch movies all year long for every holiday and one of them was Hanukkah. Remember that we mm -hmm. were supposed to watch Hanukkah and you did research and you're like, oh no, I don't think we should watch this because apparently it's got lots of tits in it. And I don't <laughs> I want to watch that. that. <laughs> I did say that. You did. So we. I was like, well, I don't want to see that either. So we scratched that from our list. We did. I'm saying, I mean, I guess it's easier for me to read about the tits, but at least Layman's not <laughs> lying about them. I He's love not like when I, hiding it. I was like, pet my cat. And as soon as I put my headphones back on, it was like, and the tits. And I was like, oh, okay, Kelsey's going. <laughs> I, I got to stop, though. I got to stop. Go. I'm going too far, but I'm. I, after watching Frankenhooker, I'm like, this movie has me in a crisis. I messaged Andrew. I'm like, this movie has, in, has me in a crisis. I don't understand. Everyone's telling me about Layman. And I'm like, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I still don't understand. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, I'm stopping now. I you like this. I like this. I didn't think Kelsey could get more unhinged. Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. You this have is actually, not listened to our drunk commentaries on our Patreon medium. channel. Me and Andrew record movie commentaries when we're crunk. And it's great. Also terrible, but yes. Oh, it's oh, not no. late. It's I thought it was late for some reason. Just think, just think when uh, I arrive at Kelsey's house, she'll be on uh, cartoons. I will. And so she, you might, she might start freaking out when she starts hearing crazy things, like pillows rustling outside my window. She's gonna be on cartoons. You sound like uh, just like made cartoons. All cartoons. Like, cartoons. Like, like, uh, you know what would uh, be? Uh, real? Yeah. I probably could give. I could probably give Kelsey a heart attack if Don't I did one that. thing. Don't do that. One thing that she would not be expecting. I'm scared. Don't be like that. She's gonna. I'm scared. Like, she's gonna like hear like a noise and she's gonna be like, oh. Blackmail, Alicia. Thank you for this tip. Twelve years ago. <laughs> yeah. Twelve. Let's all shove this down now. Ollie's throat, please. Like, Let's bombard oh, him yeah, with. Ollie. We heard you gave body rides four stars. Oh, why really he doesn't body. like you want to ride is Richard Layman. Well, he kind of. I don't know. He's got like publicly. He has I, this like. Oh, it's I, bad. I feel like he like. I think feel like like he, like Richard Layman is like his like mistress or something you know what i mean like where he's always he like he's like he he's like oh i oh i could never read another one i will never I, i'm done with lim and i swear off i swear off the richard and the layman and then like two days later, he's like so i wrote another five richard layman books I still don't like I'm them, participating but... in Kelsey's year of layman, even though I hated flesh and there was nothing really wrong with it. <laughs> okay. I still I didn't understand it, yet I'm over here reading like the most complex books of all time and I can't understand <laughs> layman. You oh. like Richard Layman or Moby Dick? What's hard to understand? Moby Dick is easier. <laughs> Layman is just I don't like the kind of Moby Dicks he talks about. Huh? Richard Layman. That didn't sound right. Well, yeah, it was on purpose. That was the <laughs> 
<laughs> there's no oh semen facts. Okay, well, there I, is, just, but I not just on the saw sea. something here about this halfway to Halloween on Shutter. It shows April first, twenty twenty four. See. Halfway to Halloween is here on Shutter. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's like that's probably halfway to um to the month of October. You know what I mean? Like maybe halfway to Halloween is they because everyone celebrates October like Halloween all October. So it's probably more halfway to Halloween is the that month that's halfway to October is probably where it's going from. I imagine. Don't worry, Cameron. I'm doing it both ways. I've got a physical copy of the first and the second book, I believe. So I will be reading it physically. Yes, the also illustrations, yeah, the illustrations are wonderful. I um, only listened to it this, I mean, I had already read it, but I probably will end yeah, up getting the whole collection. Me. I know, I know. <laughs> do you want me to do it this time? Do you want me to take the load? You can do it. What? Like, like you have to click, speed? but yeah, I can yeah. do the speed thing if you want. And we'll do Look, whatever I'm a you want. I didn't think I was a good boy. Ha <laughs> Are you guys high? Yes. <laughs> I, I, K, that makes sense. I see now. Hold on. I can't <laughs> click fast enough. I also watch Ready Girl as well. Is your, oh, this movie in 3D? Okay. No, but your face is. Uh, no, sorry. I was quoting the movie. Uh, I love the beast from the east. Good, Does anyone know yeah, the name of the Goosebumps with a weird mirror? I think it's Goosebumps. Yes. Uh, uh, something about invisible. Mirror mirrors. You're weird when you look at them. Oh. <laughs> Where's the freaking invisible one? I don't know where it is. Keep going, Andrew. Hold on. See. Success in modern trouble is dependent on being in the government's public library system. They'll drive three books at full retail, hardcover, paperback, large type. That book's a uh, matter of secondary. Always buy the book. Don't buy a copy of the book. I gave the beast from the ace two stars because I found it extremely annoying. The beast, that is. I want to punt them. <laughs> okay, but if you watch Beauty and the Beast, man, I've got one or question beast. for you. Man or beast? Yes. Which one do you choose? Do you prefer the beast as a man, or do you prefer him as a beast? And we need to know the answer, please. Well, this is <laughs> Halloween every day. day. Yes, Linda. Agree. Omg, I thought it was April. Me too. I was it is April, apparently April, November slash November in the math. It apparently you, is Andrew. on Twitter. I celebrate all year too, but when I saw it going right to be off, I'm playing him on my Switch. The pillow face cat strikes again. Pillow face cat. Hi, oh, think an episode of I Carly and they said he was Halloween. There's also a classic episode of Scrooge McDuck Fluid and Grizzle that there was one of the first ever appearances of Phantom Blot. Who I like your Phantom Blot. I love your guy's personality. Thank well, you. Someone has to. I'm so high on life. Me too. Oh, so on Google, it says Halfway Halloween is May 30th or May 1st. Probably April 30th. It, oh, well, yes. That's what I meant. Here we go to clean up and get some cake. Nom, 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 nom. I wish we bought Endless Night. I haven't read it yet. It's endless. It's a nice. Yeah, Apparently, only me likes that one. So I'm not going to recommend it, even though I gave it five stars. Anyway, go ahead. I'm stopping now. Is something only something Kelly says right before? Not stopping. <laughs> it's <Very> true. Too <laughs> accurate, Froggy. You know me. OMG, when I was watching Game Freak, I was watching on my TV, and I hope my daughter doesn't walk in and see me watching. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Protect Kelsey. <laughs> I watch Night Scream, the premise of a haunted swimming pool really works in the movie. Let's get invisible. Let's get invisible. That's it. Thank you. Oh, I thought she was just saying, like, let's saying, get invisible, baby. She wants us to get invisible for reals. A beast, let's by the get way. Physical, physical. Beast has let's beast, get LOL. Invisible. I'm in the bay. Thank God. <laughs> That's the right answer. Because Emily. him as man looks weird. Beast, anyway, 100%. No offense. If anyone likes the man version of Beast, but I'm Beast all the way because he looks better as Beast. Anyway, go ahead. Maybe the Libya throws it off. Maybe. Good night, Good night, night Libya. Thank you for hanging out. For me to sleep. Thanks, Thanks Amy. Sleep. And we are caught up. We are caught up, Andrew. Thank you. You did it. <laughs> I, like <laughs> I know. I, I just like mess up and like move on. I'm like, blah, 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 let's go. <laughs> Next question. It's like, yes, that's so funny. You actually read them, so thank you. Uh, uh, what is it? I hear the clipping and the clopping. Yeah, he's whining. Our favorite boy is, is here. Jackson. Jackson. He's like, there's he, a lady with the pillow outside. He loves to freak me out so much. And he always, when he comes into the room, he'll go right by this book thing, which if you tap it, will fall over. He goes by it all the time. I'm like, please get away from there. I'm like, why do you have to go there? Why? Oh, Everyone's like, Jackson, I wish you guys could see him. Come here for a second. Say hello. Jackson. I see his tail. I see his tail. 
Oh, there he is, the beautiful boy. All the kisses, all the kisses. All right, anyway, uh, is an hour okay, guys? Ah. Oh, no, here's yes. the books. Come here. I seriously don't want this to fall on your head. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah how nervous. I will promise I'll be back as long as no other family member is like, another thing, you all start to put this fire out. Okay. If you have to put fires out, it's okay. We'll hold down the fort. Jackson! Jackson appreciated all the love on the Instagram post the other day, right, Jackson? You, you like it? Be here. I um I I might or might not come back depending That's on what okay. Barry's doing. Just depending Ooh. if he's still cleaning not, in the garage. Make it sound I like will... mysterious. You like you like. Oh, it depends if my I might come back or I might be outside of Kelsey's house at the end of the next sprint with a pillow. I mean, think about it. I could get there in an hour. Oh mm -hmm. my god, no! <laughs> I'm already scared about oh. Saturday. Oh no! Oh my! Oh, oh. In case you don't come back, uh, everyone sub. Subscribe to Cat below. Subscribe to Cat's Novel Adventures. Just it will got a really cool event coming up. Oh, thank you, Andrew. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I, will, I will see everyone oh, in 60. I'm going to have Andrew do ads for me. You would sound good. <laughs> you like brains? Then you might want Zombie Thon. Yeah. People say, people say when you're really getting smarter, <laughs> that just makes you more tempting to the zombies. <laughs> Don't study because that'll just make you more scrumptious. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.
Yo! <laughs> I was gonna warn people, but then you started dancing and then turn your camera off and on and oop. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm scared. You're scared. Oh, oh no, cat's, cat's gone. Too. We lost her. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I had to put my light too. on. No, I had to put my light on. Oh, I thought you were playing <clears> around. Gotta <throat> see the light. The light. Blinded by the light. Lit you know, up the like a deuce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the net. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. Kelsey's got a remote for her lights. I do. Ooh. All of us poor people, we got to turn on the lights. I have two lights. Paul argues I don't need them. I was like, but I do. Clearly. I well, I think it, it I think it does uh, definitely benefit from the two lights because I think it works really well. Yeah, I love it. As long as you balance it, like this one just gets brighter sometimes and you have to lower it so that it looks balanced. Yeah. But are they ring it, lights? Are they ring lights? One's a ring light and one is a, what is it called? A box a light? light. Oh, yeah. box a light. <laughs> bling. No, it's a, it is a box light, I think. Oh, you had a box for it? You're like, I gotta enter this boxing <laughs> tournament to get this light. I beat Rocky. Oh, okay. I believe you could. Yo, Andrew, I did it. <laughs> I beat Rocky. <laughs> I mean, especially, well, actually, no, I don't think you could be, even though Slice of Stone is like 70 years old. He, he would definitely beat me today. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, He's got the veins. He's the, got those the scary veins. veins, <laughs> on his scary arms. veins. I feel like you'd see the veins and you'd be defeated. You'd be like, no. Literally, I'd see the veins barf and then be like, you won. Well, maybe you'd be like, you know, you'd like puke and then you'd be like, whoa. And he'd like he would like fall. There's like a Mortal Kombat character who's called Bor Raicho, and all he's like a drunken fighter. So all he does is like he like goes like glug 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 glug, and he goes like Bleh! and he pukes, and then the, 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 the like scorpion is like Wah! and he like falls over. So like the puke is power for him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then his like fatality when he's like I gotta kill this guy. He like he like lights a match and then farts and then like gets out. Of oh my fire. god, he's such a crass character. <laughs> he is. Yes. So, I don't approve of him, but you don't approve? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, how judgmental. I mean, Jesus, <laughs> I don't approve of him. No, I, mean, like, I, meant, I, I never I meant fart. Say, I meant to say I don't endorse him, is what I mean. <laughs> I don't <laughs> approve. No, I do not approve of this character. How dare he buff and fart and do normal human things? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're barfing a lot, that's probably not normal. It's probably not. <laughs> Kelsey's like, wake up in the morning. Bleh. No, I no. You. <laughs> that would really, I hate throwing up. My mom was like, you used to throw up a lot as a kid. I was like, I know, and it sucked. By the way, I've got exciting up. news. You can't tell, but I started, now you can tell. I started Dead oh. 11, and I'm freaking loving it. I love the way it's written. I yeah. love the mysterious element. It's reading so fast. I'm on page 72. I'm freaking loving it. Are you Are you reading it with your eyeballs or listening to it? Both. You're definitely listening yeah. to it. Because I'm both like, you're at 72. That's intense. Yeah, but that's through two sprints, not just one. Oh. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I just didn't talk about it in the first sprint, but I was loving it. Like I marked the first page with a tag. Where? Where do you keep the dust covers when you're not like? Well, I had put it on during the last time we came back on. I just kind of put it on the side, but it's really not no. a good idea. Sometimes that's they fair. do get smushed. I, I am like terrible in that. Like I physically cannot remove the dust covers. Like I know you're. You. It's a better idea. It's a better idea if you're going to read a hardcover book. Well, it's just not comfortable to keep it on. It slips and slides. Yeah, it depends right. on the book. It's it's not I think the bigger the book, the harder it is to keep it on. Oh, you're right. Everyone's correct, I take mine I off and I, I put them on top of a book in my bookshelf, like on the tops. Oh, that's a good I idea. I take it and put it on there because I'm not going to be doing but anything with it. Andrew, it's not stresses. safe because he's got cats, yeah. probably. It doesn't even matter. If there, was, if there was no cats here, I would still stress out about removing that cover. Because it could get smushed? I don't know why. I don't even, like, you it's so it funny because drawer. I... You put it in a drawer. That's you true. could put it anywhere. You could put it up up a thing. It's very easy It's just easy the thing he does not want to put. But I'm he's like, like, I can't. Like, but what if it loses its folding abilities and it's ruined now? 
And like, I, it's so funny because like I, you know how like with Blu-rays they have like slip covers, like some things mm-hmm. have like slip, where it's like a plastic slip, like a no, sorry, it's a cardboard slip cover you put over it. And I'm always like, who would ever want one of those? Like, because I don't care about those. Like, I don't. So you care don't about care about those, but you do care no. obviously about the hard covers. Yeah, so but I, cool. but I'm like obsessed with like maintaining the hard cover and only reading it with the slip slip on. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and like to the point where like I don't buy hardcover books unless it has the slip half the time. Oh wow! So like sometimes if I like find one without the slip, I'm like, oh, it is hideous. How it's dare not- it not have the slip? Oh, oh, this is garbage. Even though like you know. I, you have true garbage. I bought this, which is like an actual rare book from Thrift Books, but they didn't tell me they didn't have the fucking oh, sleeve on it. That's I was so upset. This is the Ray Harryhausen fantasy film journal strap book. What are you watching, Kat? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like just listening. You listen to TV, or I was like, what's going on? No, I'm my thing, my Laverne and Shirley. Sorry. Oh, that's so cute. Um, Do you have to go? Are you going? No, no. I'm just saying. I, I clicked it and it came back on. I don't know. Something is wrong with my iPad on the side. If you, I just can't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch it. It's so funny because like this is a hard book. This is the Ray Harryhausen fantasy film scrapbook. It's hard to find. I bought it on thrift books and I was like, where is this? Where is the cover? Where is the dust cover? It's a gamble for us. I was so mad. And they're like, oh, it has a symbol that said it wasn't there. And I was like, what do you mean? And they had literally that week added the symbol. Like it was yeah, there's not no there way before. they had the symbol there before. There's no, no way. No, they didn't. No, but they do because now. then you wouldn't have done it. If you wouldn't but have had it. I'm also glad I did it anyways, because like I wanted the book and like, I need to get over the fact that this is what I wanted. I wanted the book part. I didn't, it doesn't matter about this. Well, sometimes it's, the co- the slip covers are nice. It is, but like it's like it'll live half of its life looking like this. Like it doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Like I'm not gonna right. be spending like my entire life being like looking at the <laughs> slip cover. I still understand. I understand your obsession. Minor but, like, obsession. You know. No, it's it's not. It's not. I think minor. anytime we say slip cover, Andrew needs to do that action. <laughs> I think he needs to go like this, where he's like, oh, no, it must Kelsey, have. Kelsey, I think that's a fantastic slipcover. And then Andrew has to do the slipcover. <laughs> that would be fun. Uh, uh, Paul keeps no. texting me about Popeyes. I'm like, I don't want Popeyes. Well, you know what? He likes Popeyes. Maybe he thinks you're his olive oil. No, he keeps saying, are you sure you don't want like, it? I'm like, Popeyes I already ate pasta. Yeah, and tell him you don't want to have to run extra because you ate pasta and Popeyes. Well, also, I didn't even tell you guys I had like 10 molted milk balls. <gasps> I, I, like, well, and they're huge. They're like this big. My dad uh, got me like a whole bunch of Easter candy. Oh, those mating snakes are back again. Yeah, oh. so I've been eating these. I cannot buy these ever again. It's like, it's too much sugar. Too much. Yeah, well, try 10 malted mi- milk balls that are Let freaking see how much sugar. Let's see. 11 grams of sugar for three pieces. You know what? I never read mine, so I'm not, I'm not I didn't I didn't read mine either. Probably had 6. Thousand. So terrible. <laughs> You know, if I had that, I'd probably have eaten the entire bag by now. Um, <laughs> Me too. During the sprint, I did finish. I did do the nostalgic off the racks magazine prompt. Oh, good! What'd you I do? Did, uh, I read all of this uh, famous monsters of Filmland issue. Was it good? Uh, it was fun. It was fun. Like it's like a, it's like a, a it's like a monster movie magazine from the seventies for kids. Like it didn't start in the seventies, but this is from uh, seventy seven, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like the information is not accurate about some of these movies, but like it's still fun to read. There's like very, very bad puns, but like it's fun. It's fun. It's silly. The seventies puns. The ads are like all there, and like it was one of those things where I have never read. I don't. I, maybe I have in the past, but like I don't read things cover to cover. Like ever. Like for magazines, like. When you pick up a magazine, you like flip to one article, you flip to the next, you're like, oh, I don't want to read this. Sorry, the next, you know, at least for me, like I never really read magazines cover to cover, but I was like, if I'm counting it for old school April, I gotta read the whole thing. So, so you like, did? No, I've sitting there reading ads, like being like, hmm, yes, Aww. this is how you this is how you describe what is in this super eight film reel. 
What's amazing is there are a number of books advertised in this thing. Like horror that, books or fantasy yeah, books? Yeah, or... like they're, they're all horror books, like of like uh, of the 70s, like vampire-esque, Dracula-esque variety. I had like at least four of the books that were advertised in this. That's so and it was, cool. It was so weird, like going like, ha ha, those suckers from the 70s were like, I want this book. And I was like, I got this book, man. <laughs> 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 but I'm a, I'm afraid of the slip cover slipping. Slip I cover. Am. It's scary. That's why I love paperbacks. <laughs> he missed his cue. That's why he really collects paperbacks. <laughs> is because he's too scared of slip covers. <laughs> Would you do it's cat scary. besides uh watch Laverne and Shirley? Did, did Although that did? that's all I did was I watched the two episodes of Laverne and Shirley because I went to ask Barry if he wanted to watch another movie because we've been we've been trying to watch movies together. And um, he was too tired. So Aww. I was going to take a shower, but he was like, I'm going to go take a shower first. I promise I'll be quick. Well, I already got involved in Laverne and Shirley. So I was like, I'll just take it after. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a question, Kelsey. Yeah. One page was missing from this magazine. Can I fuck <gasps> that up? Yeah. One page. Someone ripped it out. And I was like, them bastards. Oh, it was like man. a thing that was kind of like. What? Do I always tell you it? I know. When I know you do. I know. Say yes. Yeah. Count it. What was yeah. funny though is like, so it was, so apparently it was like, I think it was like a novella that they had like reprinted in like multiple, because it was like a novelization of a movie, but like they had printed it in the prior two issues. So this was the last part of the novelization for a movie I haven't seen. So I was like, what is happening? I'm like, I got to read this because I got to count it for the prop, but I have no idea what the plot is going on right now. Wow. <laughs> so I did it, but uh, the one page of that was missing. And then um, for the uh, short story prompt, I started Empire of the Ants by H.G. Well. Oh, wait, hold that a little closer, please. I want to see. I never even oh, that looks it. cool. Is it a man being eaten by ants and bitten? Yeah, it is. Oh, it I is. like it. Yeah. So I didn't realize that that was only the first 30 pages of this when I put it on my old school April TBR. Oh. But short stories still count. So I'm just going to read right. this for my one short story prompt. because I don't want to abuse it, but I also don't want to read like a bunch of other H.G. Wells short stories. I'm like, whatever H.G. You Wells can do a old. few. I just don't want people to like. Well, she doesn't want them to do 30. all of the books. No, but like yeah. all the short stories in a book and then. I mean, For if that's example, the case, then you you count the book. But exactly. say you're going to do three out of one book, and, and it's you like three 13, out of if another. If you do three one. out of thirteen, that's okay. If you do three out of a ten book, that's fine. Yeah. I just don't yeah. want people the, doing like forty and fifty short yeah. stories, and I just feel like that's abusing it a little. To me, the easiest way to think is like I want to read Empire of the Ants, which is the short story of H.G. Wells. Yeah. So I'm just going to read that one, and I'm canon for that. That's but perfect. I want to read. All of Shadows Four, which, which you counted as a book, collection. and you counted as, so as, yeah. as a book. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Bada -bing, bada -boom. Because because the thing about it is, even still, what? you probably oh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what are you trying doing? to? Uh, get I wanted to show viewers? you my stock before I forgot. Oh, okay. I was like, it's a burger. Oh, oh my it's God. a burger. <laughs> is it good burger? Yeah, but I can't bend it to show you the part where it says good burger. I can't bend my foot that way. Anyway, how do people walk around with their freaking socks like this? You can't wear shoes. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, those are my socks. <laughs> Enjoy randomly. I didn't need to show you, but now you see what, what I are have. Your, what are your earrings? Oh, they are oh. GAC. GAC, okay. Whoa. Do you remember the GAC? Yes, yes, I remember GAC. What are you doing, little girl? I have some. On my wall, in a package. It's still in its package, but oh, I thought you just had like loose gas. That would be gross if it was loose. It'd be all hard. Screamed on your dried wall. up. <laughs> Off to the land of Nod. You're probably gone, oh, but good night. Come on, midday. Mid Hooray for sprints. <laughs> Sword close. We got our. Know, how cool is that? Ooh. Ooh. Very cool. I've learned to not doubt. Kelsey's sword fighting abilities. I did take fencing lessons for a few, well, a few classes, but not long, not even a whole year, but. I once, once thought you were making sparring, a joke. I was like, I'm bad. I was like, oh, Kelsey's making a joke about this. And then Kelsey's like, no, bitch, that's how you do it. That's <laughs> Yeah, I know fencing. you're like, uh-huh, you're like, just Ooh. pretending. I was like, you gotta do wrist movements. And I was like, oh, Part I'm of sorry. It. She's like, I'm gonna stab you. 
Caca. They make you <laughs> lunge so much in fencing class when you're first learning. They're like, lunge, lunge across the gym, and lunge with one leg, lunge with the other leg, and then we lunged across the gym. Oh my goodness, your legs must have been on fire. They were. My cousin, I asked my cousin, will you take sword fighting lessons with me? And she says, yes. And so afterwards, I was like, I can't walk. And she was like, me either. Aww. It was fun. That's fun, though. Uh, picked up oh, this sounds so cute just the title the little ghost who was a quilt it's a picture book to read before going to bed that sounds so adorable i wish i had a ghost Cozy. That was a quilt yes Cozy. i will be reading dr jekyll and mr hyde and other tales of terror by robert louis stevenson that sounds awesome i classic. need to read that i didn't really, like is dr jekyll and mr hyde like a shorter book then like because yeah. like, they, they were talking about reading it i, I didn't realize well see it seems like that. It's a collection of stories by Robert Louis Stevenson. Yeah, I don't think, but I don't think it's very, I don't think it's very big. No. My understanding, it's a, it's a shorter book from what I understand because I was thinking about doing it for, uh, Victober. Would it count for Victober? Cause it's a classic technically. Well, it counts because of the year. Oh, it's, it. a, it's an 1886 novella. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a yeah, novella. It, yes. Because Victober. I have this um, written down because I can't remember. Wait a minute. How? Okay. It says it's what, the first edition was 141 pages. That's not a novella, right? Isn't that a, a full book? How much no, is no, it? No, it's a novella. I consider a novella Wait, under say it, How much? How much is it? 141. Oh, yeah. That would be novella size. I see anything really? under 200 mm -hmm. is I... definitely a novella. Oh, interesting. I usually said 125 was my arbitrary thing that wasn't based on any they, fact, so, I, There's and, different definitions for it, but I've seen anywhere that they've defined it as being under 200 pages. I oh. can see it under 240, really, but... Under 240? What? I don't well, know. I don't a single what, book makes of my it, life. what makes a Victorian is that if, it be, if it's between 1837 and 1901, okay. because that's yes. when Victoria's... Victorian reign, period. Yes. Okay. 1886, it counts. Yeah, really and is. if he's a British right. author, if he's a British oh, author. Uh, yes, he it was producing the, I believe. Yep, he's a British man. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about man, reading that for October cool. because it would be great for the spooky season. It probably would. It probably know? would. I like so, the look of this. And then thing. you should watch the Page Master because they do a little reenactment if you've ever seen the Page Master. I, I, I feel like I've seen it. This is what the guy who wrote. Remember. Oh, wow. This is yeah. the guy who wrote uh, um, Jack Jekyll, Jekyll and Hyde. Hyde. This is Robert. Lewis also, Treasure, Treasure Island, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, you know what? I can see how. Fancy I can see how, uh, you know, the ha 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 of uh, Tim Curry made it in. <laughs> hey, oh my God. It's, a, it's a lady who gives us all of our books. Libby. Jurassic Park, Libby. <laughs> like the app. That's great. Uh, read 70 pages of Conan. Watch, wa watching. 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 No, watching. Right down. Watching. Watching. Uh, Max Headroom now. I'll be watching you. I love watching. Max Headroom is wild, dude. What is that? It's like there was like the 80s thing. It was like, wait, wait. So have you seen Back to the Future 2? Yes, a long, a long time ago. Okay, so this is the, the never mind. This will not work for you. I was gonna say there's a like Max Headroom was like this like uh like kind of like yep. electronica artist back in the day where yeah. like he would have like I'm gonna find a picture and share it to you. I, it's, yeah. Max Headroom is hard to explain what he looks like, and once you look at how he looks, you'll know everything about him. Didn't he? He almost like is like an AI kind of thing. Yeah, he's like a fake. Ooh. 80s AI, like a version of that. What I would say is AI back in the day. Bye. Yeah, no, exactly. It's probably gone. Probably. So this is what Max Headroom looks like. Hold what on, you making for dinner, Amy? What Whoa! You for dinner? Oh my gosh! You don't remember him, Kelsey? No. He's, you know, he's swiggity swooty. He's coming for that booty. You know, you look at him. You're like, whoa, he's going <laughs> for it. Um, he, like, there was this weird, there's this weird uh, online mystery about in the 80s, there was this guy who, from his basement, uh, oh, you look at it. What's fun is that literally this is the signal hijacking uh, is the story. So there is a story from oh. the 80s where this guy 
took over a local news station like illegally and like got this like random video put on screen where it's he was mass headroom in a like mask uh, and he's like ho, 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 i'm taking over hilarious. your television and it's like this big mystery of like who was the max headroom man who hacked <laughs> into the 80s thing and you're like who cares he was rad i guess i guess i like how you said i guess i don't know him you know <laughs> he had a cultural impact though so that's pretty cool mm -hmm. just saying just saying thank you for educating me that i think that counts as the opposite of education it makes you stupider so it's what not is? <laughs> Cut it. got almost halfway through joyland Which i know one? you said later that it's definitely not what you expected i hope you mean in a good way do you mean Joyland the Kingy book or the? Mm -hmm. I liked it. I liked it. Eating dinner. What are you eating? Froggy sprint hopped and went to a thrift store. I know Monica's doing some sprints right now. I had Ooh, coffee, okay. s'mores, pop tart, and played some Star Wars for the nostalgia vibes. That's amazing. Like the the game, like the Super Star Wars, or are you like watching Star Wars? Seventy percent independence. Pretty far. Are you liking it, Alicia? Is it okay? You enjoying She's it? She's putting a pin in that one. Yeah, she's <laughs> put a pin in it. Put a pin in it. <laughs> Puke is power. Wow, we are real. We're going. Oh, wow. Little... What? What? This is a lot of comments, is all. Really? It doesn't look like that much. Has it not loaded on my end again? Oh, my God. I'm scared. Uh, a little boy just walked directly up to me and yelled, beep, beep, while shuffling popcorn into his mouth. What the hell? What is, going on? what is going on in Australia? Beep, beep. What the heck? Beep, beep, Richie. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> beep, beep, Richie. Uh, I read 20 pages. Awesome. And tell us what you're making for dinner. That's mean. That's like a demand. You don't have to if you don't want. You must. You must tell us. I was entering the library, so I believe he was in or Im imitating, not intimidating. He was imitating the security things for books if you don't check them out. Uh oh. Ooh, that I kid was, was stealing like, books. He was, like, he was like, like, beep, beep. Frog, move out my way. I was like, Gee. Beep, beep. <laughs> I would love beep, to be called beep. a frog. Like, she he didn't know I had any contact for who she was, but he instantly was like, Beep, beep, little toad, get out of my way. <laughs> is that dad? It is. Oh, hello. <laughs> Jackson's dad, <laughs> obviously, not mine. <laughs> let's not even go there. Anyway, let's uh, blah, 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 blah. less than 100 pages left in <laughs> my first book I picked for OSA. Oh, that's good. What was the first what book? What book was it? I decided to watch Ichi the Killer. Haven't seen it in years. Such a weird and brutal movie. I have not seen that. If that's a movie, Cap. Would not like. Really? <laughs> let's just say uh, that's a no for you, Cap. Scratch you don't out. always predict that right. You said something. I know, but I. She was like, I again, like it. Which is fair. Yeah, which yeah, is she fair did. Hey, what was the movie I was watching? I don't it's know. Vampires. It's Vampire. It's Vampire. Oh, yeah, Vampires. I, I was I like, I like that movie. <laughs> There's it's so a, many great, great um, uh, kills in that movie. It's hilarious. And See, you I, can't I don't predict correct. Like, you don't always. Okay, know but okay, it. no, no, no. Okay, I don't always, but Ichi the Killer is a no. For <laughs> Let me tell you. Ask Crystal. Crystal will tell me Ichi the Killer is a no for Cat. I no. need to see for myself and consume it. I didn't say it was a no for Kelsey. I mean, I, I didn't assume it was a no for uh, me. Well, it might be a no for Kelsey, but it's a no. Look, Cat's got people thinking that I'm not okay watching movies with boobs. It's not that. <laughs> It's, a, it's not that. It's it was the principle boobs. behind Richard Lehman getting the hate and Frank it's, and Hooker being like, it's so progressive and amazing and hilarious and it's fine. It's, and it's, it's like, not, not bigger. Each of the killer, the recommendation or anti recommendation is not about the boobies. Why Ooh. am I dying on this hill for Richard Lehman? I don't know. Why am I like, I'm going to freaking stay on this until forever? Why am I so defensive? Hello, bitch. <laughs> That's all. Oh, you said that to him. <laughs> I was just like, Paul was like, bitch. I was like, bitch. Or hello, bitch. I'm on eight, page 89 of Autumn Crow. Absolutely loving it. Yeah. I'm so excited. I love Autumn Crow. We love Autumn Crow. Look, also loved Autumn Crow when I read yes. it a few years ago. That's exciting. So awesome. Their spicy chicken sandwich is good. I've only had it once, but it was good. <laughs> oh, we, uh, you'll like it, Kristen. Yeah. If you it like is. Autumn Crow, you'll it definitely is. like Fresh yeah. Hell. Yeah, Fresh Hell, though, is like the next level. Like It really is. You know? It's it like... Is. 
expanded the universe has expanded well there's a lot of there's i mean like there's some stories in autumn crow that are dark but to me autumn crow is more cozy yeah it has cozier vibes but you know with some dark but to me autumn crow high is like next level it is not holding back <laughs> it goes there, but it also still has heart and emotion too. Yes, it does because Which I did. I did tear up in it. I did. I, I don't did understand too. how oh, a book can be so unhinged, but also hinged with emotions. You're like, how dare I know. You? How dare you? How dare it's too you? good. How dare you? Yeah, like I said earlier, definitely not what I was expecting, she said. And Kat's like, in the Inquirer, she's like, do you not enjoy it? If you don't yeah, enjoy well, it, Well, I'm just curious fog. because I think a lot of times people, um, I mean, because those are his hard case crimes. So it's mm -hmm. like totally different. Remember, we read later. I like. it was a little a bit different. I, I mean, love not, Colorado Kid. Colorado I did too. Kid. I did too. It's and I, I love... It's I love that Haven was based on Colorado Kid. There's TV show. Oh, I've there's not a lot watched of Easter, that. Yeah, there's a lot of Easter eggs in it, but it is based loosely on because he's like Colorado yawn. King no, is I, coming I, and out. Then I laughed. Yawn. I was laughing to myself. My eye went crazy, but I also laughed like, "Oh, dare I yawn?" Remember how we were saying that earlier? <laughs> and I just yawned. Kelsey's like, her eyes go crazy as soon as King is mentioned. She's like, Rrr. I was like, King. Yawn strategically. I'm just kidding, Kat. You know I like. I Kat. know. I know. She's like, ooh, only queens. Does Jackson try to chomp the burger? No, because it's my first time ever wearing them. That oh, was so maybe. I was so. I thought it was the picture of cats, like the cat burger. I was like, that burger was eaten by cat. How did? Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> how did, how Jackson... did Jackson try to eat cat's burger? <laughs> from Jackson, he probably would have liked the burger. Luna was eyeing the burger. He would have liked the burger. I prefer paperbacks, but I ended up buying the hardcover of Dead 11 because it was actually cheaper. I didn't even know they had a paperback version out for Dead 11. I didn't realize that. I mean, it makes sense, but I just see everyone with the hardcover. I've seen no one hold up a paperback version of it ever. I remember it cracks having... me up when you do find a hardcover that is more expensive than the paperback. Or you, you mean the expensive? paperback? No, no, I'm saying I have found hardcovers before cheaper than a paperback, yes. which I think is crazy to me. <laughs> right. Yes. No, no, you're right. It is, it is very weird. It happens a lot in like, there was, I went to like the bookstore that I like frequent, which is like the Canadian Indigo big bookstore. And like, there was a book that was like, it's like a Star Wars book. And they had like uh, the hardcovers, two hardcovers for eight bucks. And then you go to the section where like, cause it was like, they're like, uh, the clearance section, but then you go into like their normal section of the sci-fi and you're like, why is this like 12 bucks and it's a paperback and it's like the mass market paperback and you're like, it's way cheaper. You should all go and buy <laughs> the one on sale. <laughs> oh my God. It might Purple. Suck. I don't know. Purple Gak. The ceiling. It would leave purple marks on the ceiling. That is so great. Loving this Treasure Island is so is also pretty good. Read the book a couple of times. Only seen the Muppet version. Only ever want to do that. I just watched the Muppet version last week. It's in my vlog. I got I know. I know. Uh, okay, so I, I forgot to comment. Eva. I forgot to uh comment on your vlog, Andrew. Eva. But I agree, it's so freaking hilarious that you filmed the screen right as I was filming the screen screen of my sprint. You filmed me filming me. I was like, there's literally a part of the sprint where I'm just like, I'm looking at because we're all on sprint. And you're like, and am like, I not on mute? That was so funny. And Kelsey is like, you know, filming the thing, and then she laughs, and I'm like, wait, did she hear me? Like, how did she hear me? And it's like, <laughs> she didn't hear me. She was just probably responding to like, like probably Paul or someone in the no, room. No, I was laughing because I was like. They're going to think I'm so weird putting my phone up to the computer <laughs> screen like when we're sprinting. I was like, this feels kind of weird. <laughs> but I did it anyway. I was like, I need B-roll footage. So I just think that was so funny that you happened to go to the computer at the exact, <laughs> exact same time. Exact. Like, even when we're not saying the exact same thing, you're still reading my mind. Like, what is going on? <sighs> it's scary. Freaking predictions, mind melds, and... Oh, the uh, little picture book's an adorable book. Going to read it again before Halloween this year. Ordered the Halloween edition of I Spy books. Oh, cool. fun. I love I Spy still books. still doing those I Spies? That's awesome. I love I Spies. Oh, this spy. sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Did Amy ever say what she was cooking? Uh-huh. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. 
the game. Yeah, the, the game, game. Star, Wars. Star Wars. WTF got out the oh. shower and had some dark Biden on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what? Jester what? Aaron now. Oh my I... god, it's Ron Swanson is like the Wizard of Oz guy. What's going on? Uh, I can't I... tell. I feel like I both get that reference and also I'm like, how did you get to that reference? Feeling like a four star. I think it was 4.5 for me. So we're close. What was that? I'm enjoying Joyland. King is such a good writer. I think he could write a grocery list and it would be entertaining. <laughs> that dad moment made me cackle. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, don't cackle at it. No, just kidding. I would agree that E.P. <laughs> is not a cat movie. Okay, see? You can trust cat. Amy, Friends. I was not Crystal. implying that you were in the feminist and progressive angle. It wasn't you. It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Amy's like, Amy's like how dare you no I'm, I promise you it's oh, not and you. she said she would never watch Amy. it on her own Amy is just like I just like purple boobs I'm just you know, saying like, what I got from it the ending was like it was trying to be feminist but like the whole rest of the movie is like Haha, hookers showing their boobs and really when you think about it it's these actresses being asked by a man director to show their boobs to appeal to the male members of the audience who at the time would be the people seeing that so to me i was just like but richard layman gets called out for being transparent about it at least like what else he's not even showing real boobs or asking anyone to show their boobs he's just like he he boobs he he rumps <laughs> he, he, weird I, creepiness I, I i do love those chapters that we really like <laughs> h-e-h-e-h-e -E 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 space rumps <laughs> but i will say even the the men are horny but the women are horny too everyone in the book is horny even unfortunately i guess this is why people don't like layman even younger people are horny that's I'm a, sorry, that is no. that is the only problem i do have with layman like that's why i like flesh because like everyone's in like college at least so you're just like what some of his books everyone are older others they like yeah. walk the line and i understand why that makes people uncomfortable but i'm just like what is he's up he loves I to do. make people uncomfortable it's cool yeah and i do also understand that like if i read it as a teenager I'd be like oh he gets me you know what i mean like you know what i mean like you know if you're reading to me teenager, like these women like, being like woo, and then like freaking out over some super drugs how do they even know they were super i was like i don't understand i don't understand <laughs> i love whoever loves it i just i don't understand <laughs> that's all i love whoever loves it i do i honestly me. love whoever loves it but i don't understand the lame and hate and that's what my mind is just exploding and imploding i feel like and i'm like incapable of you reconciling need this you need merch that's just like a, you know, like it's like there's like a big heart and it's like i love whoever loves it and then the back is like but i don't understand the layman hate. <laughs> How dare you? i mean why am i so defensive of layman i don't even understand but whatever just let's forget it you enjoy it you have a fun time reading it so you oh a meatball it. sandwich and macaroni salad Ooh. I no sounds good Damn, which sounds oh. amazing Damn. i also had meatballs in with my pasta but they were just like thrown in there they weren't on bread is paul doing sprints and we don't know that him? would be so funny if they <laughs> met my paul <laughs> definitely not can you imagine if paul was doing sprints like hey 60, 165 pages and 54 blah, blah, blah. i don't know why i just start going blah blah, blah. and red ch chapters 10 through 16 awesome job making Started good progress very good progress. Started Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, and it took me a while to get into it. I've read a few things by Lee Bardugo. I like her. I will have to choose a book for me to read next. Wait, I gave Frank a hooker. I don't understand! I'm sorry, Lauren. I love you, but I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's okay, though. I love you. That is funny, because like I almost... I, I feel like I almost messaged... Like Lauren, after watching, I was like, Frankenhooker is bad, right? <laughs> I did. I never sent the message. I wrote the message. To, I wrote the message to Lauren, and then I backspaced it and didn't send it. I was like, you know what? I'm, it's I'm not about if it's hilarious or not. It is hilarious. I loved the freaking kills in the super drug scene. That was my favorite part, were the kills. But the random boobs bothered me only because everyone is hating on my Richard Layman read along, and yet. They were fine a, with these boobs, and I Kelsey, don't understand. Kelsey, is there? I'm pretty sure only one person has ever said they were hate reading the Richard Layman read. No, and lots I don't think of people. Else is. Lots. Are you sure? 
Lots. Positive. She's saying lots. Lots. Go on. Ollie's even saying it. Let's grill him on Frankenhooker. Oh, Ollie probably loves it. I'm just joking. You guys know I love you, right? <laughs> I really, I don't want to be coming off like I'm hating. I'm not, I'm not trying to hate. I just wish I wasn't puzzled. Oh, look, I can't wait till you get down there. <laughs> oh, wait, there's more? Yes. Oh, wait, you didn't give it five stars? I thought you did. Oh. I love Frankenhooker. Hi, Lauren. I know. I just wanted to say that's not why I found it entertaining or better than Layman. I think if Layman had movies, I would probably dig it to some degree. I totally understand that. I thought I think, some of the elements of the movie were great. Yeah, I think there is a difference between, like, a showing versus, like, tell like. When, when you're reading a book, you become the voyeur. You, like, yeah. become the character in the book. Where, like, for me, like, I don't like reading labor books because, like, yeah, I see that teenager's rump. And I'm like, I don't want to look at the teenager's rump, Layman. Don't make <laughs> me do Like, it. I'd rather, like, like, I totally understand it being prefaced because I'd rather read it than see it. I'd rather well, read fair. it and make well, you more can almost, to see it. You can almost compartmentalize it yes. in your mind or, like, kind of blot it out if you need to. Whereas when you're visually seeing it, it's not like you can pretend like you're not seeing it. Well, I will also you know? say just like movies sometimes freak me out more and books hardly ever yes. do. Yes. That's a big difference. Like The Girl Next Door, I would never watch the movie adaptation of it. I that's fair. It, I don't think I... I yeah, that's, that, is a good, I think that movies, is a good interesting Yeah, point, to me, movies have more of an effect on me than... Um, same, and books. I don't know why. Even if I cry in a book, I will cry more if I, I visually see it. I Probably feel like, me too. for me, movies have a disconnect where it's like... I Because, like, I really get into books where, like, I am the character of the book. So, like, that's why, like, you know, a disturbing book will really, like, effed me up because, like, it's like you are in the character's head, you are experiencing the character's feelings. So like in a way you're almost living a life that's not yours kind of thing. And like, that's what for me for books is like, Ooh, this is scary. I'm like, you know, when, when you read like a Kathy Koja book, you're like, Whoa, I'm putting things in the fun hole. It wild. It uh, wild. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah. You know, when I read a Richard Layman book, I was like, Oh, I've become a creep. I don't want to be. <laughs> See, I'd rather not watch a Richard Layman movie because to me, I'd feel it's I, creepier. But reading it, I'm just like, whatevs. He's having good fun. It's like nothing. Like, I don't know why. It's an interesting thing to compare why some people would rather it be in movie form and it, it like, you know, skeeves them out less or bothers them less, where it's the opposite for. Other I people. think I think with yeah. like a movie is like you don't have to watch it is like the thing you know what I mean like so it's like there's like a weird thing I just look the other way and like you know you come back and like with a book you're like the experience of experiencing the book you can't look well, away also to me it's like I also was putting myself into the women actors head and I was like, is this, and as soon as it had the ending it had in Frankenhooker, I was like, is this trying to have like a feminist message? I was like, wait, who directed this? A woman? Then I look up, it's a man. And I'm like, a man? And yet there was all those boobs? And I was like, at least John Carpenter's like, okay, I'm going to show the boobs to show them. I understand that. But even like to me, it, it'd be creepier seeing a layman movie with lots of boobs and rumps versus oh, just I reading agree. it. I, I don't agree, know, that's like just me though. I agree because like it what's funny is like I don't like a lot of laymen and I also didn't like freaking hooker that much. So like I'm like that weird, like I don't like nothing. Uh you you know, but uh um, It was like just it was just the point I thought it was trying to make. I'm not saying that it was actually going for that. It's just I also think about the actresses, you know, being yeah, asked like, to do that and yeah, they agreed real... to it, but who oh yeah, knows? believe me, the, those background world. extras know what they're getting into because they get paid more. They get a bump. For their yeah. Run. But like not that <laughs> much of a like but you know like but, like, but you know how comfortable was that? You know not, what I mean? I don't know. You know, it's like to pay your rent you have to do this. You know what I mean? Like there's like that extra level. Well, of, I mean like, a it's a choice. It's it. a choice. I mean your background when you're doing those kind of roles. I mean and really not, I mean the reason I say that is because we had it when they were shooting Treme down here. They I'm had, not bashing um, any, by the way, I just want to clarify. Of, I'm not no, bashing any different. actresses who choose to do that. That's totally cool no, if they're like, um, feel like uh, no weirdness about it. You know what I mean? They're like, cool, so, I'm proud of it. It's it's fine. But like, you don't know the circumstances. And just so, with the message I thought it was trying to make, that's why I couldn't 
reconcile yeah. the two things. At I all. agree. There's like, so uh, we, as like for a crumb commentary, we watch Friday 13 part five, right? You know, when we watch that movie. And there's that one point where like a girl's like, it's showtime. Yeah. And like the story behind that is like, she pitched it to the director. She was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if I did this? So like that scene has a different reading than like you're hired to do a role that is just this. You know what I mean? Like, so like, mm-hmm. I understand what you're saying completely. It's just, uh, I don't know, I just, the message, or what I thought was the message, messed it up for me. And I've liked other movies from the director before, so I don't know. I'm just being weird about it, and it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, no, that's fine, though. You who have, is like, the director of that? Frank Henenlotter, who did great movies like Brain Damage and Basket Case, which are both great. Which are both no, I haven't damage. seen either one of those. No. I don't know. I don't think. Oh I my think gosh, he knows. Case. He knew I had like ten malted milk balls. <laughs> he literally was just like he's someone had a it. lot of malted milk balls. I'm like, he's counting them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that would imagine him like dumping it up, and be like one malted milk. The ball. rest are for you. I did eat a lot of two them. malted milk balls. Three. Oh my god, how many malted milk balls? Did I you ate have? so many. Aww. It was bad for me. But anyway, I really don't mind if anyone loves that movie. It just felt weird to me. I only had one heavenly hash today. One today. <laughs> yeah, I had one yesterday too. Anyway, he's like, I see heavenly hash wrappers. Not that he cares. He's just like, I'm eating a lot of candy. <laughs> what yeah, else? well, it's a lot. Yeah, I've been eating too much sugar. And it's all old school April's fault. <laughs> oh, I, I do think wait. it's funny that Lauren punked me. She's like, I'm punking you. She found it funny though. So it worked for her in some regard. I think I loved Island. See, I'm even scared to read that one because it was from a POV of a teenage boy and that is what Lehman really is. That's fair. That's fair. That is fair. I don't like to becoming that teenage boy, though. So I don't I think heard I like Thinner, the book's not the best, but maybe Damn. I'm wrong. I would say Misery if you want to read a really great one. <laughs> well, yeah. But it's got cold vibes, though. Do you want to well, read yeah. Cold in April? If it's you, up to you. I if you read, want to read a good book. a long time ago. I can't. And my, I, I don't know. My breakdown really is if you want to read a good book, read Misery. If you want to read a fun book that's very bad and trashy, you read Thinner, baby. It's and like, isn't it kind of yeah. short? It's not yeah, too it's long. Not, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, long. it's a shorter uh, And it's, it's his Richard book. Bachman, I was going to say. Yeah, so oh, you know, my. it's like, it's nasty. If it's written by Richard Bachman, it's nasty, Boa. It's a nasty book. Uh, and Thinner is, the audiobook for that is great because Joe Montagna does the audiobook for it. I love him. And it is amazing. It is amazing. Because, like, so much of that book is dealing with mobsters, where it's like, oh, I'll help you. I'll help you take them down. And, like, he does the perfect voices. <laughs> Joe That's kind of exciting. It, you would probably like uh, the, 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 I probably would, it sounds like. Especially if your boy Joe Montagna, or whatever the hell his name and last name is said, like, is doing the freaking narration. Heck yeah. He He's so good at the narration. Had six of crows on hold, but it's in transit. Oh, that's a bummer. That's in transit. I oh, still am very amused that Lauren got me. I believe which is which I is believed six, her. Six of crows. What is that? I'm gonna it's that. the Lee Bardugo book. I think it's either oh, uh, it uh it's a series related to Shadow and Bone, isn't it? It's it is related to that series, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. How many, I did how many read gra- Shadow gra- and Bone. Oh. Something universe. It would be it would be sad to live in a world where there's only six crows because I like crows and it'd be like I like oh. crows too. They're so cute and they go kya. Uh, Lauren, you really Kya-ya. got me. Hope you love six of crows. You got all of us, Lauren. That's not like. I bought two layman books when I visited Kansas. I'm down with the rumps. <laughs> I am down rump. with the rumps as well. Everyone's rump, like, rump. oh, that's so much rumps and so ridiculous and far-fetched. And I'm like, I love it. It's fun to me. It's fun trash. I don't have to worry about anyone, how they feel about showing their boobs. Because there is no one being asked to show their boobs. It's all fake boobs. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. And rumps. Yeah, it's just some twisted, rumps. demented man that everyone it's, talks nicely about. It's mostly new- rumps. It is mostly rumps, but apparently in body rides, this is how we got on this. It's not. I'm really enjoying it. I have to go buy the sequel in the next few days. OMG, why don't we have any Richard Lehman movies? Hey, Kat. Uh, I got so attached to those characters. Still am, for the, I think, from Six of Crows. This is some lit crit 300 level discussion. <laughs> those are my favorite types of discussions. I love oh, yeah, that we have a... um. 
educated discussion of why do we feel this way about one thing and the opposite about another why don't we agree about why we like a movie or not or a book or not i love that shit i love that shit i live for that shit and that's why we can all agree to disagree in a respectful loving way that's my favorite types of convos except about 300 the comic book and movie because they suck i I like i like 300 the movie. movie I thought it was very good. Let's have a fight, Andrew. <laughs> no more respect. Oh, no. Now I respect it. The- <laughs> I was about to make a joke. I don't respect that opinion. Not expecting both the people here have that opinion. So I, I thought it was it decent. Now. I liked I, it. I now respect it, obviously. I thought it was really well done. I think it boils down to the fact that it's a trauma film. That's a good point. I've only read Night in the Lonesome October by Layman, and I didn't like it. It was just really boring to me, but I definitely want to try another book by him. That's the slowest one by him. I will say that one's an acquired taste. It's like Twin Peaks-esque. It's the most Twin Peaks-esque of any of his books. It's so hard wow. to describe that okay. book. But yeah. Okay, Kelsey. I'm now reading that in July. Thanks. Don't. You did it. You did it. <laughs> You're going to hate the end. Of course I will, but I'm going to I told you about boring. that book. I know. I told you, you that crazy ending about you how the girl's was... like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but you said it was Twin Peaks-esque. Therefore, it is. Honestly, someone it is. doing okay. There's this Kelsey, I... on a bike. about Twin Peaks is going to have to read it. I have a very important question to ask you. Yeah. Okay. Um, Well, first of all, are we going to do a snack this time? Oh, I thought it was going to be a scary question. No, no, Um, no, no. It's a fun question. We could do... We did Rice Krispie Treats before, but... We only did plain ones, though. Or we can do... um, We could do a crazy one. Or or s'mores or whatever. I don't care. Or s'mores. Let me tell you what they have at Crumble Cooking. (gasps) Oh! What do they have? Your choices are, of course, the traditional milk chocolate chip. But there's cookie dough, which is a brown sugar cookie top with creamy cookie dough, buttercream, and chunks of cookie dough pieces. Oh, yeah. there's There's a lemon bar, a zesty lemon cookie smothered with zingy lemon bar topping and sprinkled with powdered sugar. I would love that one. A cinnamon scone, which is a melt-in-your-mouth cinnamon scone cookie smothered with melted butter and topped with a delicious scoop of cinnamon buttercream. Or a chocolate cupcake, which is a crave, craveable pairing of chocolate and vanilla, a warm vanilla sugar cookie topped with a luscious bloom of fudge frosting and a pinch of chocolate sprinkles. Or Monster, which is a warm peanut butter dream brimming with M&M milk chocolate candies, oat peanut butter chips, and semi-sweet chocolate chunks. How am I supposed to choose between that? The only one I don't well, care about you know is the what chocolate could, cupcake. Uh, the cu- chocolate cupcake. Because I was going to say, what I could do is I could get us um, all of them and we could do a cookie tasting. We should totally do that. That's what I do with my sister when my sister comes into town. I'll and pay so for we half like take we take like all. parts of it. I think I have some bucks that can go towards it. I earn rewards. I think we should totally do a cookie taste but test. But you don't want the chocolate cupcake one. No, I'll do it if you want to do a taste test of all of them. Okay. I'm, yes. I'm not gonna get the milk chocolate one. I don't think one, well two, we already three, had that four, before. Five. Yeah, I have to say, I, I guess I can get that one, two. Andrew, three, four, you're joking five. about that that book, right? You're joking. About what book? Night in the Lonesome October. You're not going to read that. I mean, you said Twin Peaks X. I'll read it. It is. I mean, I honestly think it is, but. Yeah, yeah. I'll read it for July. Definitely let's do the cookie taste test as the final answer. Like okay. that show. And also, I'm reading Night in the Lonesome October, final answer. No. They're having a Guts cookie tour. A Guts? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Um, yeah. Isn't that like a... That's like an old TV show, isn't it? Like a, well, it's like a Nickelodeon a... game show, but I don't think they mean it the same way. I wonder if they mean I like that, the inside thought... of the cookie place, maybe. Guts of the cookie making process. Maybe they're just yeah, like, you know, know, taking people's intestines out. I don't know. I'm sorry you had to do adulting. Boo. Boo. But at least you got preoccupied by Bandicoot. And visual pleasure and narrative cinema by Laura Mulvey. That sounds very good. I love shit like that. 
They're having a guts tour in San Francisco. Ooh, too bad we don't live there. And now I'm looking to see if they have any come to New Orleans. Oh, Loomis. I mean, this is for cookie, cookie Jeez. guts. A lot in California. But what is it though? I don't know. That's what I'm I'm, I'm trying to look to say. Problematic old movies abound. I watched Lady Frankenstein recently and loved a lot of it. Eek, it's not good. I did the audio for Thinner and I really liked it. I think I'm going to read Thinner one day. It sounds like you it's fun. Should. So let's see what this is about. Follow the tour. Follow the cookie. I guess it's a fine, certain fine, type of fine, cookie. Fine. Oh. I don't know. It's like purple. Yeah. Uh, some people like Carrie. I know Kat likes Carrie, don't you? I do. Rumps, rumps, rumps. Earth Girls Are Easy is the best throwback movie. Great soundtrack. I haven't seen that. Oh, look at Loomis. Oh, look at his own face. I think Andrew described it perfectly. I think with books, I usually insert myself into the story and certain things just give me different feelings than watching a movie. I feel more like an onlooker. That makes sense, too. <laughs> 300 with a wet splash. Loomis! Book cart Loomis! All those sound delicious. I know, Kim. <laughs> I'm so excited if you really do want to do a taste test. No, I will. I you when We've done it twice with my sister, and I'm telling you, because of the sugar, like, my heart rate will go up because, I, I guess, just having the sugar. Because I, I noticed my I, we were just sitting there, and then I happened to glance at my watch, and I saw my heart rate, and I was like, oh, my gosh, my heart is, <laughs> like, I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> I'm like, it's the oh. sugar. I had too much sugar. I'm eating ice again. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So I think that if we do it, uh, I think I can get five. I don't think it, I, I have to see what it is. I don't know if they come like boxes of four to six. So if that's the case, I may just get the um, like double of one. Yeah. Cookie dough sounds more, most appealing. By God. I don't. I think I would like to try that lemon one. I think I like lemon flavored stuff. So do I. I think Paul would like that one the most if it was his cookie. <laughs> yeah. You can't have any. <laughs> He'll be well, at work he, anyway. He, oh man, he won't be with the ta taste testing. He'll, no, you know he doesn't we'll get any. This, we'll save him some so he can oh, taste man. and then he can rank them. Well, you, well, you actually, Cat will say, "Hey, save these." <laughs> And later, there's nothing to be found. I think this is a good idea, though, because uh, we don't have to make anything, meaning we could save time for other activities. Right. Unless you and still want to make something, but I think it'll be too much sugar. No, it's okay. Um, and if we decide if we want to go to the book thing or not. Yeah, I still. And then if we want to do uh, Piccadilly. I definitely kind of want to do Piccadilly. I definitely want to do Piccadilly. <laughs> I want to do Piccadilly and then get there and Piccadilly? be like, Piccadilly? Piccadilly and go, we're old people. <laughs> we're old school, old school, old school. We'll be we would probably be the that. youngest people there. And we I'm not young, but I would probably we be one of the be. youngest people. <laughs> Everyone's loving Loomis. Good night, Amy. Good night, oh Amy. Good night, Amy. Oh, no. Why, Amy? Why? I really loved your vlog. It was so great. I, I hope you have a good day at work. Everyone's loving Loomis so much. I've seen yeah. the movie Carrie, but never read the book, so I'm excited. I hope you like it. It's fun. Oh, Earthies, have you seen this? And have, Earth Girls I have are not. Easy? I have not. Oh, everyone needs to watch Earth Girls Are Easy. It's like really fun. It's really fun. Would I like it, Andrew? Yeah. I think everyone would like the one. It's like a very fun movie. It's I would totally fun. watch it. Jeff Goldblum is an alien. He shows up. I love uh, Jeff Goldblum. He's I like, like him why too. can't I speak? He's in like a blue outfit. Like he looks like a blue alien outfit. It's it's he's very cool. It's very fun. Nom, 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 nom. Paul brought me a drink during that. Ooh. By the way, we did we weech. Oh my god! <laughs> I just said weech. We did weech the end. <laughs> oh, no, Ken's oh gonna have a list of like twenty things. I have yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven so far. Well, holy shit, we're weech. only nine days into weech the month. Is twelve. Weech is twelve. <laughs> weech. I was about to say we've reached the end of the comments, so we can we sprint. Weech. 
You're kind of like Elma Fudd. I know. It's so sad. <laughs> you wascally wabbit. Oh, no. <laughs> It's so sad. <laughs> I'm becoming a snake somehow with ah, a hiss. That's right. You're gonna transform into one. Wait, he's gone. All right, fine. He's back. He's back. It could be you, Andrew. I I'm Never. okay with looking at you. Never. Too. No Never. one will ever look at me again. It'll just be Loomis. Uh oh. Ooh. Saw it in an inappropriately young age. Would oh. recommend. To be fair, he's about to fight me. <laughs> oh. Is Jim Carrey Jim in it? Jim Carrey is in it. Oh, he is. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about Jim Carrey as the awesome Extra that. point. Oh, guys, what do you think about this? Next year, I'm thinking of maybe we could do a Robin Williams prompt mm -hmm. next year. And didn't somebody say Nick, uh, Cage. Nick Cage? And oh, then someone said Nick another Cage. one today. Who the hell? What, who the hell did someone recommend today? Jesus. Not Jesus. He He's not in that many movies. <laughs> I mean, just you. if you think about it, he's in every movie. This is going to bother me if I can't remember who someone suggested. Like, did they have a movie in mind or something? They, when they, told they him? were like, I'm watching this today, and we should totally have a whatever prompt next year for this person. I said, yeah. I really I'm thought long... that was only for Nick Cage, but I don't know. No, it was Nick Cage, Robin Williams, and someone added something today, and I said, yeah, we should blah, blah, blah. Oh, you should say you should have a thing that's blah, 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 blah. And it's like, watch your favorite movie with blah, blah, blah in it. I'm so mad. I need to find it. I know it was another person that's like a big. Was it a male or female? Male. Okay. Do, 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 do. What could it be? We are trying Who to. Who do you think it. is. By the way, we keep naming all what these men. What about Was it Tom Hanks? I was. That's oh, what I was saying. a good one, but it wasn't him. It wasn't? Is I don't it think Howard so. the Duck? Definitely not him. Because I was gonna say, um, they we have no no women, and they could always have like a Julia Roberts or a, what is the girl? She got male. Oh, Matt oh, Meg Ryan. Ryan. Those would be great. Because I was thinking we Ryan. should have a woman one too. I love Meg. Julia Ryan. Roberts is amazing. So is yeah, Meg Julia Ryan. Roberts has been in so yes. many great movies. I love them all. Um, the idea of the Muppet Babies, maybe. Um, I looked at, under the movie show Rex. Yeah, I think Nick Cage would be fantastic. You know, I love Nick Cage. Pat, We're it's definitely Pat. Gonna... That's the one that you want to put on there. Who? What? It's Pat. It's definitely not Pat. It's, a, it's not important, guys. It's not important, but it, it's just annoying that I can't remember. It was under the movie watches, you said? That's the problem. I don't know which thing it was under. Was it a Matthew Broderick? Because someone mentioned Ferris Bueller? No, but it definitely wasn't Matthew Broderick. I'm I don't so think weak. he was in as many films like... Oliver Platt. I don't think he was in a lot of big films. I mean, Was it George few... Clooney? Mm. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get out of here, Clooney. I'm sorry. I'm not Clooney. I'm not Clooney. We don't want I'm you, not... Clooney. I'm not Clooney. Hold on. Oh, well, what about Bill Murray? What about uh, that? Wouldn't be would be a great one because I love Bill Murray. I he, love Bill Murray too. I think he's, he's my hilarious. Actor. See, I, I will forgot. find it later. It doesn't matter. I will find it later. But see, I realize about the uh, the old school because I kept everything old school. I would put Paul Blart under the Mall movies. I love that movie. You can you watch know, that for the Mall movie. Yeah, yeah. Could yeah. Old. you could even watch number At the two. Time, it was all old school stuff. Oh, you mean when really you did your rec video? Yeah, you yeah. you'd Paul and that Blart. I'm glad it's not only. Oh, there's me a Keanu Reeves, Babes in Toyland. What oh, Keanu Reeves there? would be a good one as well. I Maybe it was Keanu. Keanu. Keanu in fact, Reeves it might have been Keanu. Keanu Reeves. I know it's so oh, weird no. that Froggy loves Stephen King, which isn't like Carrie. I don't understand. Froggy style. I mean, I like Carrie. Probably it wouldn't, I don't know if it would necessarily be in my top 10. Sigourney Weaver is another good one. I mean, what's the worst? Busters, what's Alien? the worst Stephen King book you've ever read, Cat? Probably Dreamcatcher. Oh, have you read Tommy Knockers? I have not read Tommy Knockers. That's why I love Tommy. Knockers. I didn't really like. I didn't really care for Eyes of the Dragon, and I don't know if it was because <laughs> Eyes of the Dragon is awful. Yeah, Eyes of the Dragon is bad. I've only read it once, and I oh. I was just like, I don't really get it, and then um. It 
there's nothing it's just like basic bitch fantasy like if you listen to the audiobook of the langoliers it's oh. great yeah because it's willem dafoe be like it's willem dafoe like, i actually Dude. don't mind the the story uh the langoliers i yeah, mean the movie's I. cheesy I like but i kind of anyway. like the, the movie i mean the story itself is yeah, fine the and then the fact that stephen bad. king makes a cameo in the movie cracks me up so. i did it deliberately <laughs> If you have no, a probably Dreamcatcher is probably the one that I. Well, he even he even says like that's he Thank wrote you. when he was back on Painkillers. Yeah, he and he was it. also very angry because it was right after his accident, and yeah. so you can yeah. tell like he's kind of pissed off in the book. <laughs> At least I mean, you found it, and it was Keanu. Oh, um, yes. Keanu! Keanu, I love Keanu. I like that. Yay! I, I like that. I eventually got there. I love the Langoliers. I know Froggy Dreamcatcher is my birth year book. Oh, oh no! I'm sorry about everything else that's in that. Like Langoliers is good. Everything else is her, but. <laughs> oh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Scream Queen Supreme. Oh yeah, Jamie would Lee Curtis one. would be a great one too. Be I love one. her. Yeah. That would be a good one. I would like that. I've never seen Prom Queen. I've got a or whatever it's called. Prom yeah, uh, prom night. Prom oh. night. Yeah. We're talking prom night. That's a good it's one. That prom one. night is good. And also, I think Terror Train is good. I love yeah. Terror Train. I love it, Kelsey, that you've seen Prom Night 2, Mary Lou, but you've not seen the original. That's it. It's not, it's barely a sequel. Like, it's not, it's I, not. I don't even know why you would say Prom Night 2 because it doesn't have anything really to do with it. No, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's prom. But it's 10 times better than Prom Night. Oh, I like Prom Night better. Prom night two was even stays place. angry about that accident. That man will never forgive and never forget. That poor man shows up in practically every book since, one way or another. But he died sad, sadly after. Currently at a river, trying to sneak up on animals for pictures. That sounds sinister. <laughs> for some reason, at a doing river, that froggy. Froggy, she's always having fun adventures. Froggy. 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 I That's mentioned I Froggy mentioned. in my latest video because I think she would like that book by Edith Holden. Is it about frogs? Well, it's about nature. Dance scene in prom night OG lasts for eons. Yeah, it I'm does. Really excited. It's so much like maybe and for my like um, dances. Maybe for my Halloween readathon. You could do it for slashers. We do like a slasher thing. That's mm -hmm. true, but I could have a watch party. I was thinking I'm gonna have lots of like Halloween horror themed watch parties for October. That could be one, or it could be for our slasher marathon. That's fair. It could be it for either one. Either you got, one. You got plenty of time for it's a prime. Molly Ringwald yeah, would be good. These are all good ideas. Yeah, I, I think, think Molly Ringwald would be perfect too. Molly Ringwald. Everyone yeah. used quiet voices so as not to alert the animals, okay. but the creeper in the woods. We're sneaking up on an animal. Shh, be very quiet. I have to watch it. I'm behind everyone's videos and everyone's animals. <laughs> no, never mind. Well, no, I just, I just right. mentioned, I mentioned Froggy in there. I don't mention her as Froggy. I mention her as Carly at Frog Lit. <laughs> That's fair. I, I as feel like person, every time. As a person, I think that would enjoy that book. I feel like I've said the, the name Carly maybe four times in my Me life. Me too. I mostly like, say Froggy. 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 I, I interchange between Froggy and Carly. I just feel like, like that's Somebody personal. said Carly one why. time, like, and I was like, Carly? I'm like, no, Froggy. <laughs> You're just whispering into my ear. Uh, <laughs> it's like a squeak. I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> it's, it's so Froggy. creepy. Froggy. Froggy. <laughs> Just joining having a random panic attack. So chatting and reading will help. Oh, oh I hope you feel do better. better. Oh, yeah. Feel better. It's right. We're sending you some vibes. Definitely right. sending vibes. Right. So uh, vibes. now that you're done your magazine, what are you going to read this next sprint? Oh, I was in the middle. I did start a book. I started um, Empire of the Ants, which I did mention briefly, but yeah. I only got the first like four pages in. It's like, oh, I'm from Creole, and it's like a bunch of Creole well, accents. I thought you finished like, it, so I misunderstood. No, no, I only got the first five pages in. It's like Creole, Creole dialects, and I'm like, that's cool, but where are the ants? I feel like Richard Layman would have killed like 17 people in this. The book is 30. 30 pages long only. It's like 29 pages. You need and like, to they're like killing. big dialogue. And we're like 
seven pages in, and it's just been like, oh, we have to go in the fight to lose these ants. I cannot believe it. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, dude, get to the ant. I love all of Andrew's different voices. Sweet nothing, sweet nothing. We're whispering sweet nothings in Froggy's ear. Froggy. Sending thoughts, hopes, and Froggy. dreams. Froggy. We send uh, Marie. I'm going to sing you the Laverne and Shirley dreams. theme song and whisper. I We're like gonna it. make it. Oh, I was going to sing, uh, this is the song that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. <laughs> and then it'll be in your head all night. Guess what? That still counts because there's a magical book prompt, is there not? Oh, that's cool, Lauren. Isn't there a magical book? Pivot, pivot, yeah. pivot, magical pivot. thinking. Tell us what the title is, Lauren. Tell us. Tell us. There We're is, not magical there. enough to guess it. Isn't there a book about magical books? Isn't that one of the prompts? Yeah, you can read yeah, a nonfiction. You can still use it too. You can even use the nonfiction book, Lauren. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nonfiction counts. Uh, it doesn't matter when it was published. And it doesn't matter that it's not old school or nostalgic. Doesn't matter. I thought there was a magic book though. There is well, Teen Witch. Oh, okay. It says read a book about magical items, magical and, elements, and magic and witches, and warlocks, wizards. If it is written by a woman, what um, that too? If it's written by a woman, that counts. Yeah, yes. tons of it. It, it would count for non Wait, wait, Tell wait. Tell us what the name of it is. Lauren, Please, whose team Lauren. are you on first before we give you all these tips? Whose team are you on? The parents. The parents. The parents. We take back all our things. You see, it's by Amanda Montel, so she can count it for the female Luffy. author. So you see, you got two prompts already. Oh, Three. She's a, Lauren, but she's a parent. But she's non -fiction. a parent. We can't. Let's stop. Woman author. Don't tell her these things. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We're giving her hints. <laughs> I'm no. just kidding. Okay, I'm kidding. Okay, there's I'm a nonfiction non one. I didn't realize. Yeah. Yep, it's yep, called yep. Uh, True Life. True Life. That's the, the Age of, of Magical Overthinking Notes on Modern Irrationality by Amanda Montel. Someone read a biography mm. about me. I didn't approve that. Oh, Taking no. pictures of flying birds is so hard because they look so cool when it works. This made me laugh. I had to take out my earbuds when you started singing that song because the last time that song was stuck in my head for four hours, not going there again. <laughs> it does get stuck in your head. And now it's going to be in my head, and I did it to myself. Why? Why? All right. Do you guys want to do 45 minutes, or does anyone have to go? I'm going to head out because it is yeah, 10 o'clock, and I need to get up early and do stuff, and I'm sprinting tomorrow night. Yes, everyone who's looking for sprints tomorrow, yours is starting at 3.30 Central. At 3.30. 3.30. Okay. And we don't have a watch party or anything, so I might go till like 8. That's cool. Uh, I may try to pop in the chat, but I also might do something on Patreon because I've got to find time. And I feel good that somebody's sprinting publicly. It makes me feel like I can take the night off and sprint for Patreon, mm -hmm. but then you'd miss it, Kat. But I might yeah. have to. I, I, it's hard to fit in the Patreon stuff in between the. Well, and I feel bad because last year I was able to sprint a lot more. I wanted to. No, do you didn't sprint, sprint at all next last year. Uh, you didn't have a. Yes, I did. You did. Uh huh. I didn't think you had your channel then. Yeah, I had you, my channel since you October. Sprinted back then. Yeah, because I had folklore February. It was the first time I sprinted. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I forgot. I did it so that I could have a trial run, so I could do it for old school April. Oh yes, but I I remember. I think you're sprinting a lot this time. Well, Every I'm sprinting probably the same amount because last time I didn't sprint my weekly thing. All I'm doing is old school April during my normal weekly spot. Yeah, Whereas like football, February, I did my my regular sprints plus I did some. So that's like what I planned bug. on doing. This looks ridiculous. You look like the fly. He does. <sighs> Everyone's saying bye, cat. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye. Bye Kat. Hopefully, I'll see you later. Thank you for sprinting tomorrow. Everyone sub to Kat. Make sure you catch your sprints tomorrow. Tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Central, Central time. time. Andrew looks cool, says Alicia. Yeah, he looks like the fly. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you for your sweet words. All right, I'm going to do 45, unless, Andrew, is that too long for you? I really want to read more Dead Alive. I don't care. Really I'm, I'm here for Evs. I never leave. <laughs> you can leave if you have to leave for for serious. I don't have to leave for serious. Everyone is asleep. This is I how I live now. Let me get this. <laughs> Will you be impressed if I come back from the sprint looking like this still? No, because I know you won't have stayed like that the whole time. There's no proof. There's no proof. Can, you know what? I'll, I will put uh, myself on mute. Don't do it. That's silly. 
You could just read and live. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to read. <laughs> yeah, come I on, would have read. done that. Had had you been joking. like, had you been like, yes, do it. I would have done it though. I know. That's why I said don't do it. I know you too well. It's scary. Oh well. I know. He takes the challenge. Okay. Slip cover. Slip cover. No. <laughs> Bye, cat. Bye, y'all. Hey, everybody, in about 45. Well, I gotta actually make it right. Okay. Whatever. 45 and 21 seconds. Goodbye.
It's about to go off. Beware. Oh my god, you scared the heck out of me. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, you actually did. <laughs> oh no. I, I literally jumped. I was like, oh. I'm so sorry. It's I was like, oh. Like, I, I thought it was still two minutes, so I was like, oh. And I was like, oh. Ooh, the pickle brine. <laughs> it's, it, really that's a, it's a pickle one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew I, I didn't finish it the other day. I have to finish it. It's the same one. It's the same can. Whoa, it's the famous can from the blog. Right. From the blog. Yeah, um, Kat got me a six pack of weird beer, and this was one of them. That's fun. Yeah, it That's was for really my birthday. Fun. She actually heard about that there was a corn beer, and she was trying to get me like a corn themed beer, but she couldn't find it. So instead, she just bought like all these crazy beers and a sour soda. So I have six crazy beers. Well, it'll be five after this, but and then a blue. Is it sour head? Con I can't remember, but it's like. Very, very sour. It's got like a, an exploding head on, on it, and it's blue. Ooh. Like the liquid is blue. I like it. That's cool. I'm scared. But some of the other things she got me sound good. Like one's like a, it's not po' boy flavored, but it's an amber, and it's called like po' boy beer, which is a sandwich from New Orleans, if you don't know what a po' boy is. <laughs> I always think of the pill day dough boy. That's probably not what it's about. It's nothing about. <laughs> it's not even close. I don't know. Paul. Not even close. There's a boy at the end, you know. <laughs> a pumpkin oh, boy. belly. Um, so. back in the day in New Orleans, all these uh people, these poor workers, would line up outside of like sandwich shops and stuff, and people would give them leftover bread and I think like French fries on the bread oh. with gravy, and they were like, "Here you go, you poor boy." And so then it became like po' boys. It's rude that they said, here you go, you poor boy. I mean, I don't know if they really legit said like, yo, you po' boy, hey, bitch, take it. I don't know if they really said that. I would hope not. Yo, you poor boy, take it. But something happened to where they're like, yeah, the poor boys go over there and eat the, cool, the bread like, with the fries. That's, that's interesting. I, I kind of love, I love like those, like the stories of like, that really paints a, a picture of the place that the story I told it. And it's annoying because my old boss would always be like, it's poor boy. It's pronounced poor boy. And I was like, yeah, maybe back when it was first said, but no one ever says poor boy here. They say po boy. Like, that's how it's pronounced. Anyway, really, there's a big argument like, about it. You beat the crap out of him. You're like, yo, boss, now you're the po boy. Bam, 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 bam. The po boy convo is why I'm really here. <laughs> I just provide the peeps with what they want. I liked it. I thought that was a really cool story. I enjoyed it. A lot better than fucking Empire of the Ants. You didn't like that? It was bad? It was fine. It was just like, yo, what if ants in a society? And what if they were like, man, it was bad. You're like, yeah, man, it's a real monster, bitch. It's like, these people are like going on the, th we were going, they're like, do, 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 do. We're going in to solve the problem. There's a bunch of ants that are messing up a place. And they're like going down this thing and they're like, uh, it's so boring as we go down this thing. And I was like, I don't want to read about the boring parts. There's 29 pages in this story. And like, boop -a -doop -a -doo. here we we're trying to relate about the pouring parts about, you know, being on a ship. And you're like, I understand the meaningfulness of this. But if this book was an like a book, then this is fine. If this is an animal attack books, let's animals be attacking. Yeah. Yes. So like they're going, they're going, they like, they stop at an island. They're like, Ooh, want a bone ladies? And the ladies are like, okay, I guess. And you're like, where is the ants? So they finally get to their destination. They're like going there and they come across this boat. They're like, Whoa, what's going on with this boat? And it's like, Whoa, there's no one on this boat. There's like only like a decayed corpse. And they're like, Oh, uh, what's going on? And like some guy has like a like a magnifying glass, like, whoa, the ants are on this boat. And then there's like the big argument about like being like, yo, you should go on this boat. And he's like, no, Captain, you bitch. I ain't going on this boat. <laughs> you bitch. Yeah. And then he's like, yo, maritime law says you gotta go on this boat. And then he's like, fine, I'll go on the boat. So he goes on the boat and he's like, Yeah, as we suspected, these people were eaten by ants. Wow. And then he's like, whoa, the ants are attacking me. And apparently the ants like sting him. 
and apparently the ants have like human killing stingers. So he gets like stung and he gets off the boat, but he dies the next day, which is the lamest part of it. Like an animal attack book, you're supposed to like die in agony as the animals eat you. That's the fun of the animal attack book. You know what I mean? Like the it sounds anyway. like this 29 page story was very boring and pointless. Yeah. And then they burn that ship. They're like, yo, that ship been killing that man. We're going to burn it. So they finally get to the place they're supposed to go to kill the ants. And they're like, look, the, the, whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks like the ants killed everyone. Wow, who would have suspected? Yeah. So they're like looking at the side and they're like, oh, what are we going to do? And one guy's like, yo, let's just fire the cannons at the ants. And you're like, That's so dumb. <laughs> you're like, okay. And they just fire a bunch of cannons at the ants. And then they leave. <laughs> So they don't even know if they truly killed the ants? <laughs> they definitely did it because the coda is like, so I met Jimmy Jim Bob from the English reporting here. And he says, yo, these ants, they're super smart. They're going to take over the entire planet. Isn't that wild? It's like, whoa. And it's like, it's like written in a way that's like, by 1950, the ants will have discovered Europe and taken it over because they're an advanced creature who make engineering feats that are way wild for an ant. And I'm like, what is the entire point of this is like, yo, what if colonization but reverse? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Um, it's weird. It's like very much like a man is a real monster story, but it's totally the most boring way. It's like sounds very boring. It's like, yo, what if ants were smart? And I'm like, okay, but like, how are they smart? And it's like they were on a ship. Well, they walked in a ship. These and they ants are over. clearly smarter than the dumbass humans who are just shooting cannons from far away at little <laughs> minuscule ants. <laughs> it, was weird. Like, it was literally like there's like a huge argument on the ship. Like, yo, should we? Someone should go on the ship to make sure they go onto this this island to make sure that they're all dead by the ants. And then one guy's like, mm, I don't wanna. <laughs> Let's just shoot them with cannons and leave. I just don't get it. I was like, what? Like when you hear Empire of the Ants, you think they'd be like, yo, I'm a king ant. And well, this like is my place. very ferocious ants, and like the majority of the story would be that, but nah, apparently not. Nah, nah. And you expect like a big like queen. Like the you have a queen. You gotta have a queen ant, like who's like, ooh. I'm fees fed me with the fans. But she probably got crushed by a freaking random ass cannonball. Probably. We don't even get to know about it. <laughs> it's just random. Stupid boots scared off the birds. <laughs> Finish Monster Blood 3, now going to start Flowers in the Attic. Hell yeah, I gave that five stars. Woot woot, it's on my list. I'm scared. I don't know if you'd like it, but I, I really liked it. I thought the writing was fantastic. I'm trying to figure out when do I. When are we reading this together, or do you want? To I'd know? love to. I didn't know you were planning to actually read it. Well, I've had it on my like. I was like, oh, I don't know, because I was interested because you said that it was a potential thing for you. On it is, but I'll one. really read it if you want to buddy read it. I would definitely want to buddy read. Oh, Basil! Someone on the di someone on the Discord just read it and said it was cute. Oh, I bet. But they I hadn't bet. watched the movie, so they couldn't say how. Um... Oh, it looks like it's already just from the table of contents it looks different than obviously than the movie well, it, do it does it does looks like, like there's mysteries to solve when you look at that like that that is very much like the outfit that like he's wearing in the movie well, yeah he's though, still right? like, like a little cute mouse version of sherlock holmes and apparently there is dr dawson which helps him it, according to the contents here because it says cast of characters basil dr dawson Angela and Agatha, mouse twins who vanish. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Proudfoot, their loving parents. Is right. Oh, instead of a housekeeper, Mrs. Judson is a mouse keeper. Oh, Ooh. that's cute. Is Radigan in this? Uh-uh. I don't think so. Oh I think God. this is a different mystery. Because oh I think it's God. a series. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it says the famous mouse detective yeah, solves one of his strangest cases. But I don't see anywhere where there's a number. To the yeah, book. Neither do I. And it's That's funny, cute. by the way, I think both of our copies, I think I've got them both at Chamberlain, which came from Florida. 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 Oh, oh, my oh my God, it is. Yep. Oh, um, but I, I have another, them. I have a weird, like, a double one. That's it's weird. It's like, yo. 
But these be... came from my favorite bookstore. Can you open it? I want to see if yours is also March 07. When's yours? It is. <gasps> oh my god. I especially got it for you and me. Ew, thank you. Thank I didn't you. know there were other people out there like Coral who actually like the grout. I the know. Great mouse detective. Why am I honestly stumbling and bumbling over everything? I'm not drunk. I swear. I am. <laughs> no, you're not. Are you? Oh, yeah. I've been you were like, with... I'm not drinking. I know. I drank when Cat was still here. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were going to do that. But I think that was our last sprint. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Or is that bad? No, no. That's fine. That's fine. I just had to You need to be drinking your water so you don't have an incident like last time where you were suffering all day. <laughs> I would have that bad of an incident. I was just like, Ugh, I had to You were like, I'm dying. You I said mean, yes. to me, I'm I was, dying. I was correct. You were right. I was dying. But I was... Uh, I was just like, for a day, I was like, ugh, I'm dealing with family drama. I'm just going to fool. I don't having care what time. I said. I'm having a good time. So I had fun, though. It was fun. Yeah, it was a great, it was a great time. Hold on, I'm, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, an on go. Speak. Read. <laughs> I can do it. Creating an ongoing tier list of Goosebumps books from best to worst to continue until I eventually read them all. I love that idea. That is fun. That is and fun. I want to see your list one day. Or any day if you want to show your progress. That's cool too. Good night. Good night. You're probably gone. But goodbye. Good night. Listen to two more hours of Pet Cemetery. It's really good, but very sad. It is sad. Never Have seen fun the movie. Being sad. Oh, I love the movie. The old don't school. Go, don't go down that road. Don't go down, don't that, go road. down that road. <laughs> that was bad. That was real bad. <laughs> Mine oh, was no. also bad. Don't go down that road. Mine I was like, like don't go down that road. <laughs> Mine was really bad. Yours was okay. I mean, we could just do dueling Judd Crandall's. <laughs> we keep getting more and more ridiculous. Don't go down that road. <laughs> That's so bad. That's not even it. You know. make it sound like Dolly Parton who's like, oh, don't go down that road. <laughs> or we could do what Willow find. Don't go down that road. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna I thought you were just gonna do road that no, way. No, like no, you no, did no. like it all, Willow, all the time. <laughs> Never stop, so Willow. Willow. <laughs> Willow. <laughs> Oh no, Paul's laughing maniacally in the background. <laughs> He's like, ha ha ha! It's all about the rumps! <laughs> I, I, do love, I do love how, like, immediately on Hinge it goes with cats, like, okay, bye, bye. bye and then we literally lose it. We lose every hinge we've ever had. We're like, she gone! <laughs> <laughs> There's no one holding us accountable anymore. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! It hurts! It hurts! It hurts my stomach! It hurts! It's this pickles, baby! Have you, have you had these pickles? Have you, have you, have you, have you, <laughs> <laughs> we've, been, we've been contained for hours and now it's just let loose <laughs> we, we the literally just loose we literally just gaggle for like a minute long I know. and everyone's like what is happening and they're all scared <laughs> and they're running for their freaking I don't know, sellers? I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were going to say rumps, like running for their rumps. <laughs> running for their rumps. It hurts my stomach. I oh, <laughs> decided to go back to my school years and read all the books I've read in school. Oh, Just started funny. and finished Four Perfect Pebbles by Marion Blumenthal, Lazan, and all oh, the feels. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Because I'm unhinged. <laughs> Took pictures until my camera died. Guess I'm off to the grocery now. But what if there's a cute grocery thing? Like, what if you're like, ooh, that is a hot pepper. Like, it's like a pepper with no rum. There's, <laughs> there's a hot candy corn, but oh, gross. It has a tattoo on it. <laughs> we don't want you here, candy you corn. You gotta have standards. Oh, that's so sad. 
god! How dare you insult the candy corn? <laughs> He's got style, man. He does, he does. I'm just read jealous. 24 pages. Ooh. And then and Minnie's I like, like, I read 25. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to be like the same thing. It's like he's like, oh, that's that's cute. 24. I learned 25. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at my own evil laughter. That's so dumb. 83% into poon. Did you or do you still like it? Got 77% into my audiobook. I am flying through it. I also set up my agenda for the week ahead. That's awesome, Lauren. Hell yeah. Yes. Attending any Yars. of the host sprints counts. Yars. Any official old school April sprint, as long as it says, like, well, I don't know. I guess old school April in the title. <laughs> 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 New work May. <laughs> yeah. New work May. You're like, it doesn't count. It says new work May. <laughs> new work May. Get out of here, new work May. We don't want you. Willow Judd. Yes. Willow Judd. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Judge Cradle's turned into like a, a, a goat. And like the kid, the kid has to do it for like four ankles he's like i gotta get that to all the goat <laughs> ankles <laughs> sometimes dead is better <laughs> i want that in a shirt it's just but no one will hear the inflection <laughs> sometimes dead is better it's like one of those talking shirts you know how you like, press oh, the button it's like, like instead of the cards it's a shirt you there's a flap and it's the goat lady from Willow and you can like flip down her mouth so that her tongue sticks out and then it makes her say sometimes that is better. <laughs> and everyone's like, it's in the pet cemetery. Why is the goat from Willow on your shirt? But it's quoting pet cemetery. Cat, we lost control. <laughs> <laughs> oh god my stomach squeaked how do i obtain y'all's energy this late at night stand up and get crunk <laughs> just kidding i used to say that all the time as you know andrew i did spinner wheel for my next as you know <laughs> my next goosebumps and i got welcome to dead house oh i'm so excited for you to read that one it's good where did you get your spinner wheel from Amazon, but there's a whole bunch. I looked at. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you, Spinner Wheel? Where are you, Spinner Wheel? <laughs> why, why can't I find you? <laughs> I can't even do it anymore. <laughs> Sidley Lugoat, I'm down. <laughs> oh, but anyway, um, Amazon, but you can use an online one, as I'm sure you know, but. Uh, I got one, I think, that has interchangeable faces, so you can change how many slots are on your wheel. So you just have to unscrew it all. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's So you cool. can change how many, because sometimes you don't want it. It's like, I have a, a lot right now, I think like 12 or 13 little slots, but you can make it less or, or more, I think. I saw the last hinge fall off. We're all running for our <laughs> sellers. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? The cackles, I'm sorry. Still liking pin 4 to 4.5. Willow Cemetery! <laughs> it's not as good. My willow has decreased over the freaking I don't know, it's month. still pretty good. It's still pretty damn good. It's not as good as that one group chat voice memo I sent. That, <laughs> that was, was like the perfect. best willow I've ever done in my life. I mean, you can still find it, probably. It's probably really far up. I don't know where my phone is. I was going to say, like, ah, oh, yes, I will find it. Aha. Uh -huh. There's no way you're going to find it. I could find it. Let's see. Just use a website for now for the spinner wheel. I sometimes still use a website if I have to do, like, obviously a ton of things to spin between. 
literally we lost everyone because they're like it's too much it's too much too much willow quoting me, me, wait, 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 what <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying <laughs> i was about to say well i don't even know what i was about to say but it was something like Andrew's manically freaking searching for the thing, and I was about to say manically, but I went meh, meh. <laughs> it was manically. I was like meh, meh, manically, manically, manically. <laughs> I said that has to be it. That has to be it. This it is, is it. January eighteenth of twenty twenty four. And then I have a voice thing of you saying Willow twice from that video that I asked you to clip it for me. Oh, yeah. I gotta find that too. <laughs> that was for like the old school I pull announcement videos. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I love when you say Willow because it's so like understated. It's like Willow. Willow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's scary. Oh, it's only it's only three seconds and it is perfect. Hold on, hold on. Load, bitch. Come on. I don't know how to play this. Come on. We lose. We lose. <laughs> That's so bad. I want to have that in my ringtone. <laughs> we lose. <laughs> text notification sound on your phone that would get so annoying if that was your notification <laughs> sound you'd be like yeah. ah! i feel like people don't understand how much we chat online I like know. if i put that as a notification well we, 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 <laughs> it's own self it's own self <laughs> i'm about to say i should set that as my work phone ringtone people will think you're unhinged as hell if they hear that at your work they'd be like what they'd be like what is this ringtone and why why is it some random person going we know <laughs> it sounds wheel. funny when i'm talking to my beer <laughs> <laughs> if you mess with the wheel you get the oh if you mess with the wheel you get the oh <laughs> When I say will, you say oh, will, oh, oh. will, will. Oh. <laughs> That's such a sad oh. 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 When I say will, you say oh, oh. will. Oh. <laughs> so dying, that's bad. It's so much easier. Sounds like a dying horse. Like, you can do it's easy. You can do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she said, oh, you can actually read it like that. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> wrong. That's that sounds nice. wrong. It's starting to sound like a dolphin, not a goat. Don't make me tell the tale of dolphin grandma again. Oh <laughs> Andrew <my> already <laughs> heard it. My coworker and I did have a lore about this character we made up called Dolphin Grandma. Dolphin Granny, no! And we would talk like that. And I we would say very unhinged things like, I don't know, Barney Snowballs. <laughs> oh, yes, Barney Snowballs. Because <laughs> there was the a snowball like... called Barney. <laughs> then my friend made up a joke about how it looked like Barney did something <laughs> in the snowball. And it was just like, we'll stop right there. It was horrible. But we is made that what, Is that what you say? Like, the hip-hop granny with the hip-hop. I'm a hip old granny who likes to hip-hop, bebop, dance till you drop, and yo, yo, I like to make a whip and cup. 
whipping. A whipping cup. Whip I like to make a wick. I make a bleh. I like <laughs> <laughs> I like to make a wicked cup of Q Q <laughs> Now I'm just imagining Paul being like, oh my god. He's probably like, I don't understand. I come out again, he's like, I don't understand. <laughs> Who is this? Willow. Why? Are you always talking about Willow? <laughs> anyway, I didn't even say what I did during that sprint. I read 15... Well, probably like 20 pages in this book. I didn't read any more of Dead 11 because Paul and I were kind of, well, I was kind of paying attention to the Bruins game that we DVR'd. Oh, so I was nice. like, yeah. <laughs> like that you DVR'd it. You're like, <laughs> Well, I was just like, I must read, bitch. How is it? How is it so far? I love it. I loved it from the first page because of this. And I knew it was going to be great. I knew it was going to be gold. I think this could be a, a 4.5 or a 5. Oh! Moose! <laughs> moose! <laughs> it says... Um, hold on, let me find the... They're talking about Phantasm 2 and, like, some random... Oh, maps. yeah. And I was like, oh, I love Phantasm 2. I like Phantasm, Phantasm 2 Phantasm. is, like the best phantasm it is far. and he says that in this book so the character's like hold on hold on where is it where is it okay here he says joey paused in his sorting and said wistfully you know phantasm 2 has to be one of my favorite movies of all time there's something simple about it something pure it's reggie and mike cruising a wasted countryside in the CUDA, and I was like, it's a sign when it said CUDA. Uh, hunting the tall man and killing monsters. That's it. That's all. And then Tony smiled. Sounds like the perfect world for a horror fan. Joey smiled in return. Sure does. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yes! Already I loved it. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> already i was like Willow, that's perfect <laughs> yes that is like that it's it's like one of those things that's like i'm amazed how they made that on such a low budget because you like they go through these towns where like it's so deserted there's like nothing there and it's just like yeah whoa we're like the first movie is like yo what if i'm an old man but i'm also boobies and he's just because like that one girl is like he's like making out with her and she's like whoa it's actually an old man with it it's really weird and <laughs> random but i love the second one because that r ridiculous house explosion is so oh, yeah hilarious but also there's like, many hilarious parts there's that like the weird like back he's got like that back thing where it's like hey i'm your tall man and you're like what is going on it's so good I love the, that movie. The entire franchise is very fun, though. Like even though I've never seen past two, so I have to check. Oh, more I already. think I think three is at least fun. Is like is very fun. Three is like very fun. Uh, two is like the highlight of the series, but like three, four, and like five is weird because like five is just like people have been dead for years, but they're still in the movie, and it's a weird scenario. I bet. My favorite's Reggie, though. He's great. Oh, he's, and doesn't he's he, like, battle with a chainsaw at one point? It's great. it's great. Yeah, he's got, like, a like a quadruple shotgun or something in that one. He's got, like, a ridiculous guns. I like it so much. Do I have it on my book cart? Hold on. Yeah, I do. Okay. So, I have my little cute magnet VHS tape, and it's, like, a little tape's inside of it. See it? Oh, I love that. And you can hear it tickle. It's so cute! That is so cute. Did you get that from Etsy, or? Oh, yeah, Etsy. That is awesome. That is real cool. I got that one from Etsy, and then my friend Benjamin and Cameron got me this one. So these are the two oh, I have. Oh, that's the any that's the NES cartridge, right? Like that's a that's a the yeah that's the NES one. Yep, I think so. Yep. yep. That is really cool. That is really cool. They also got me a Teen Witch one. My friend Benjamin got me that one, and a whole bunch of other ones. But so when is the when is the annual uh, Teen Witch? uh stream happened. i was gonna mention that today tonight i think that's gonna be either i think we're kind of running out of time this week but maybe some i just don't know if it's best to do it on a weeknight or a weekend like afternoon 
it feels like more of a nighttime movie, but then a lot of people will like, you know, from the UK will miss out. So yeah, that's hard. That's hard. Maybe like have it for a vote. Like that's what that might be like the one movie that you do like a vote for. Well, only because, you know, a lot of people have already seen it the last two years. So maybe we should give a chance to people who really want to catch it as a group, watch a chance to vote. Like you said, I like how now we're just talking all serious. They're like, yes, let's take a vote. Yes, yes democracy. Democracy. <laughs> Wait, I can't even do it. Oh. Got it, I got it. It takes me a second sometimes to do it. Vote. Oh, yeah, it's the perfect yes. vote. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to do. All right, all right. Um, So that was our last sprint. I'm probably going to piece because I'm out to be a bitch and I need a refill. Also, I want to read more and get uh, more yeah. done for the coots. <laughs> we, that sounded like C-O-O-T-S. <laughs> like old coots. I said coots <laughs> instead of cootas. Oh, oh my God. God. We're the coots now. That's bad. As long as we're not the Dean Coots, I'm okay with that. Oh, no, no, no. Not that kind of coots. That's with a Z at the end. <laughs> yes. And an N in the middle. I said coots like old coots. C-O-O-T-S. <laughs> we're the coots. <laughs> Don't go down that road. Don't do it for the coots. <laughs> Don't go down that road. You're rude. Read. Read. Coots. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys for hanging out so much. And thank you, Andrew, for always providing an amazing time. I have one thing to say to you and one thing only. And it's drink water, B. Oh, yeah. I'll drink the water here. Are you doing the horns that I hate? Get out of here. No, this but it's got like a mouth. It's different. It's different. This is the horns. This is a, a llama. Oh, I forgot my ridiculous friend, Mark, who remember Tina. peed on himself. Remember him? Yo, Tina. Yeah. <laughs> he used to do like, it's the wolf guy coming for you. Here's Mr. Wolf. And he would be like this wolf puppet. <laughs> and he'd be like, wolf guy is coming for you. And he would like llama. talk like it was a wolf guy. Come on. This is obviously a llama, right? Like you see. No, it? he's like, it's a wolf. Oh, well, that's like he lame. Said. lame. Well, y'all are official, officially renamed to the Coots. <laughs> The Coochies. Oh, no! 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 It hurts. Wait, I'm going to try to do bye in the Willow voice, and then we'll end it. Bye! <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought it together. I it's hard! Me... Be I feel like I'm about to throw off when I try to do it sometimes. Pillow for you, bedtime. Pillow! <laughs> Time to go for our pillow! Bye! It sounded like an ostrich. Goodbye.